I feel like I just entered another, like I, a, a new reality. Yeah. That's higher. That's above other people. Totally. Juan and is, you magically drew me into it, and I didn't fail the test. You didn't fail it. You're like my Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> there you go. You looked into my eyes, and I was like, Juan, it's Juan. <laughs> no. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. If you have not been investing in sleeping on an amazing mattress, this is your opportunity. There's no reason you should be sleeping on anything less than a five-star, incredibly comfortable, environmentally friendly, um, award-winning customer support branded mattress like they make at Sattva. We've tried them all. You can get a Sattva mattress like you find in a luxury hotel you can get a memory foam mattress like from their line called loom and leaf or you can get a solaire which is the mattress that moves and sits up and lays down and has a zero gravity setting it's incredible you can get any of these with a 225 dollar credit if you go to sattva.com s-a-a-t-v-a.com slash the shit you start with 225 dollars off any mattress of your choice just by going to that url sattva s-a-a-t-v-a dot com slash the shit You know what I mean? That's that uh, original Rebillé. Amazing. Yeah. Don't you feel like we're sitting in the coolest lounge somewhere in LA drinking martinis? When that song comes on, I do. Yeah. I wish they would play this in a really fancy hotel in LA and everybody's like, wait, what? Wait, why is it titty, 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 titty? <laughs> and someone will be like, you're mishearing that. He's not There's no that. way. Yeah. Yeah. No, that Mark was awesome. Mark Rebillé. Rebillé. God, um, that guy has jams. Jams hard, man. No, fucks. never not jamming. As, as the kids say around here, that song fucks. Isn't oh. that what you guys say? Hey, you young yeah. kids saying that a lot? Mm -hmm. That song fucks. This song is tits and it fucks hard. Titty, 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 titty. Oh, man. We're back on the road, Gene. Thank you. I'm so excited to be doing the Addison Improv. There's only a handful of tickets left on the Late Show Thursday on uh, the 4th of February. And then I go to Houston, a.k.a. Pustin, at the Pustin Improv on February 25th through 27th. Again, tickets are limited. And then Zany's in Nashville, March 11th through 13th. Tickets at Christina P. Online. I'm so excited and amazed. I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm going to Florida. And then Fartnix. Yeah. And then, <laughs> your, uh, uh, what is it called? Oh, Chomaha. Chomaha! <laughs> Nebraska. I saw that suggestion. Um, and then Sexington, Kentucky. Oh, Sexington. Those are all coming up. Brea, um, a bunch of these are, um, are on the books. Just take a look. And then, yeah, I'm super excited that I'll announce 
tour in the fall if everybody gets their vaccine. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I'll be able to uh, tour in the fall. That'd be rad. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to get back on the road. It's been too long. We're coming no. up on a year. You betcha I'm coming you up in May. You bet I'm coming up in May. <laughs> you bet I am. Show me where it spits on the road. Um, uh. TomSegura.com, Christina P. Online. Oh, check out where my mom's at, too. Uh, a lot of good guests, a lot of good topics. If you're a parent, even if you're not, it's a super fun show. There you go. Uh, we're back with Tom Talks. Oh. Um, we're doing it twice a month right now. We'll see. And then I'm... I want to get uh, Tom Segura in Espanol back um, shortly. And your um, your pooper bowl. Show. Yes, I'm doing the the big game. They call it the big game, February seventh. If you don't know, Bert Kreischer, myself, Bruce and Christian. Bruce Kreischer, myself, and Warren Sapp are going to live stream a companion show to the um, big game Sunday, February seventh, three p.m. Pacific, six Eastern. We're shooting content, we're watching the game, and we're talking through it, and it's going to be a lot of fun. He's really funny. I didn't Warren's realize very funny. how quick and funny he is. He's man. very funny. Yeah. I think he, that's going to be so much fun. I would just watch it just to watch you guys talk some shit. It's going to be and fun. And you know me, I'm not into the Pooper Bowl. Yeah, I think a lot of people who are not into football still want to have a party. So yeah. That's what we're doing. Yes. Um, all right, thank you guys. How are you doing? I'm good. You know why you're good? Why? Because you've been having your OT. Mm -hmm. your PT, mm -hmm. and now you got your DT, your dick touches, because your wife resurrected your peener. And don't you feel better now that you don't have any cum in those balls? <laughs> yeah, thanks. I do feel better. Yeah. yeah. I think it's part of, it's vital. It's part of what a wife does. Yep. I take care of that region. I take care of the mouth, the food, mm -hmm. and then the, the dick region. And now yeah. you're back. I'm hard like 24-7. Is that right? Yeah. I'm never not hard. <laughs> <laughs> are you made of cum i feel like i am still at, in your 40s even i'm rock hard all the time <laughs> <laughs> i mean you see it i do see it yeah even when those nurses were giving you enemas you were like i'm so fucking hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah especially the enemas i yeah. was like oh finally some anal stimulation yeah <laughs> it was very erotic <laughs> <laughs> when I couldn't shit, I was like, I'm so turned on that I can't shit right now. <laughs> Very fun. That's somebody's thing. That's somebody, definitely somebody's thing. Somebody right now is like, I'm so hard because I can't shit right mm -hmm. now. I like, love what? when I can't shit. I get so hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's somebody's sentence that they just said <laughs> somewhere in the world. <laughs> I'm so hard right now. Why? I can't shit. <laughs> I love it. Turns me on. <laughs> Where this is such a mood today. I think it started with Revier. Yeah, he's getting us in all sexual. Well, let, let me um play an opening clip. Yeah, get you in another <laughs> fun mood. Ready? <laughs> Here is a dollar sign, a pile of them. Oh boy. Then I have peace signs. No. Do, do, do. And then lastly, I have a treasure trove of swas and tikas. Huh? Here, I'm going to show you real quick. Oh. Swasson Tika. Who's Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stairs! Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Swas Antiquas are out, Nadav. Swas Antiquas. <laughs> what? What a R word. <laughs> Swas Antiquas. What a retard. Okay. It's Look not... how slimy and evil it all is. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's backwards. It has a lot of them yeah. for not liking them. Who needs that? Yeah. Isn't that backwards? There it is. Oh, right? that was a dollar sign on the back of a Tika. A tika. a tika, a tika. This fool. But it's part of the world that we've got. Cool in. face tats. And it's Super. just a symbol. 
It's just so a symbol. Can we make it more um, oh acceptable? Boy. Okay. Can you put a peace sign around Atika? And the answer is yes. Even if you've cut it out in felt, you can then um, combine the two symbols by grabbing your peace sign and then putting your tika parts, little tongs that the swastika has. Oh, we know how to say it now. Holes yeah, swast and tika. Sign. Yeah, I think it's interesting. I like that he has the logic of uh, the guy who goes, why can't I just say the N-word? It's the exact same like thought process where he's like, why not? Here's the thing, though. I'm a good guy. <laughs> why not? I'll put a swastika on my business that sells, you know, ice cream and then it'll be like the cool new ice cream symbol yeah and everyone's like yeah that doesn't it's already established we know what it means yeah, that argument never works why no. can't i there it is there's the beautiful tika, <laughs> the tika. with the swastika he says it right contained again contained and tika. encompassed by peace by peace the and tika now... can mean war and the question is can you bring peace does it ever trump war mm -hmm. can you actually manage to bring about victory with peace instead of uh, evil mm -hmm. um, and violence and resentment and hatred and I think this symbol answers oh, that. I think you can God. at least imagine a world where that happens I feel like this argument is strong and it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna carry you a long way also did he go to the Josh Potter school of pronunciation <laughs> because <laughs> elementary yeah. and swas antica Swas antique, but then he's like swastika, like he knows how to say it. So hold on, the original Maybe symbol. Maybe he's just, you know. Live life 365. He's just having a good time <laughs> all the time. Will you look up Google, Nadav, um, the original swastika? I know it's a, isn't it a Native American symbol? Maybe it's called something I like the tika. Hindu. Or something, yeah, maybe Hindi or something. I don't freaking know. Tika, the tika right there. The swas antica. The swastika. <laughs> oh, but that it's one. always been called the swastika. I mean, I think so. Let's see. Ancient religious icon cultures of Eurasia. It's used in Indian languages, uh, Indian religions, including including Hinduism, Buddhism, and Jainism. Mm -hmm. As a result of World War II and the Holocaust, many people <laughs> strongly associate it with Nazism. Yeah, <laughs> an anti. -S That's weird. Mm. <laughs> that <laughs> little footnote that my man here seems to. But Tom, think he can just overcome. But Tom, why come he can't? Just say the thing. Yeah. You want to do the thing. So, swasantikas, <laughs> swasantika. uh, meaning conducive to well-being. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why Hitler chose it. It's a peaceful, awesome symbol. Yeah. Hey, Hitler, kind We're, of a menace. That really took on last I got to tell you something. <laughs> He's one of the biggest rascals of <laughs> all of history. He really is. <laughs> guy is a total knucklehead and so is goebbels and so is himmler and osama bin rascal laden yep another osama bin doing no no laden you know what i call him what rebel rousers <laughs> yeah you're such a dad i feel like your dad would assess these guys that way like, well you know that hitler uh not a good guy I'll tell you something Just Tommy. not good let me tell you something he would round up okay <laughs> the gypsies the Jews, eh. blacks, <laughs> mentally handicaps, and he would just gas them. Yeah. Gas them. I've seen documentaries, yeah. Dad. Yeah, we've all seen the, yeah. docu the documentaries. He, how he can watch another Hitler Dude. doc is the one that gets me, where it's like he's 73 and I'm home for, I don't know, visiting them and you walk through and you're like, Hitler, huh? He <laughs> loves it. This is our 600 of Hitler docs. Yeah, but that's all dads watch. Well, because now they've colorized some of that old cool footage. Yeah, yeah. And now my dad's like, he's oh, wow, he's got nice eyes. I yeah. didn't realize that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, all these other docs, you never see Hitler's eyes. They really <laughs> pop with the color correction. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like a whole new, it's like the Wizard of Oz when it switches from black and white to color. Now they're really stoked. Yeah. That and my dad would always have like the World War II house on Garibaldi Street and, you know, yeah. those thick like WW2 books and the shitter. Yeah. They, they read them for years. They really, they I think it's them. because all that stuff happened like when they were born or right before they yeah. were born yeah. or, you know what I mean? Like, it affected so, their lives. Yeah. They're like, why did my life suck? Oh, I want to <laughs> read this story. <laughs> but I can't imagine revisiting this, the, the 2020 
I, I want to bury it. I don't want to hear the word. I don't want to hear it ever again. Yeah. And you're going to hear it for the rest of your life. I know. You lived through, uh, you know. The pandy. A pandy. The last the one was 102 years ago. I <laughs> know. So. I'm content never speaking of it ever yeah, again. Yeah, you're going to be doing interviews about it in your 60s and 70s. People will be like, what was the pandy like? You're like, oh, it was great. Yeah. It's the best year of our lives. <laughs> you're like, I got the COVID. Yeah. My husband's body broke in half. Well, uh, the neat part was that we gained the uh, the quarantine 15 and then lost it thanks to the pandy, the COVID pandy that we got later. Yep. So it was like a perfect circle of a year. Yeah, pretty the cool. The COVID diet resolved. The quarantine 15. My, my smell's not back still. Mine either. Yeah. It's been but a I, while. Now my mouth tastes like I'll I tell just you when drank I appreciated orange it. juice. I the appreciated time. it the other day. What? When uh, Bitsy shit on the stairs. I know. She's got And normally I would have been like, ugh, and it smells, didn't smell a thing. Didn't phase you, I know. It's good for some things. Um, be quick, before I forget, <sighs> a big shout Pika. out um, to Larry King, who we learned uh, passed away. I'm a just <laughs> he passed away a couple <laughs> days ago. I had such a good time with the most memorable, of course. Um, Everybody loves interview. him. Saka uh, Yeah, he was. He was awesome. Um, Didn't he have a stroke as he was interviewing you? No, oh, no. It sounded like it was Saka <laughs> I remember when he said, "It's a really cool tribute." When he goes, "Mark Wall." Uh, yeah, I have it here. I, I have it here. Again, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? That's why we pull the clips. <laughs> All right. I just get excited. Starring alongside Mark Wahlberg and Rose Byrne in Instant Family. Well, 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 Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, you got it. I got it. Yeah. Know him a long time. <laughs> what was that like? <laughs> that was one of the best ones. Guilty pleasure. Chocolate souffle. Saka souffle. Chocolate souffle. Oh, chocolate souffle. Yeah. Isn't that the best? Yeah, it takes a while to make. <laughs> and then if you want to see this is the clip that um my mother called me i had this i had done this interview a year before they posted it right so i did it they didn't post it on you i mean i guess they used it on their own platform but they didn't put it on youtube for like a year and my mom said that she was on youtube and because they have searched me before it'll suggest you know so it was she was like oh tommy's on larry king so she pulls it up, watches it. She calls me crying, crying. She goes, you hurt me so bad. And I was like, what did I say? Because I thought I was like, oh, my mom's some dumbass or something. You know, I thought I said something super insulting to her. I'm like, what? She goes, what? You? And it was, this is what made her cry. Is there something you long believed to be true and then realize mm -hmm. wasn't? Jesus is our Lord and Savior? <laughs> <laughs> you made he him laugh. Down, huh? <laughs> that. That made my mother ball. That was it. Yeah. And what's interesting is that you said so many horrendous things in all of your comedy specials every Everything. week on this yep. show. That's the. You that's basically the call part. her a retard every week on this show. <laughs> and that doesn't seem to phase her. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think of what I don't like to eat he was like what's your food because he doesn't like eggs i was like you don't like eggs can't stand them he doesn't like eggs <laughs> but i couldn't think of olives which is what i you hate hate olives but i said oysters which i don't mind yeah you like oysters i know but i just felt the pressure and i was I like ah oysters i hate them what was yeah. it I can't know. stand them so yeah anyways larry king really was i mean it was a trip for me to be on that show because when i grew up he was on cnn for 25 years so my entire childhood high school college you put on cnn cnn used to be like you know like an anchor sitting at a desk reading just reading news you know for most of the day and yeah. then they started they had programming like larry king live where he would interview pop culture people politicians and so he really was a fixture i remember getting the like the publicist call like do you want to do larry king and i was like Fuck yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was so excited. Well, you are not, I mean, you're very happy there. Again, I don't ever see you that joyful in our private life. So that's kind of neat to see you happy. And you look really good. Thanks. The blue jacket looks really nice. It is. Nice, people have told me they really like it. It's the a jacket. really great color. Yeah. Um, but were you set up, were you taken aback at how, um, how he was, like his degeneration? No. 
No. Were you taken aback when he said Saka souffle? Were you like, oh? No, they, they, I think they just happened in the moment. Like the Wahlberg thing, we've heard tons of people not be able to say Wahlberg. Yeah, that's true. Um, and so that, you know, made sense. And the Saka souffle, he just misheard me. I mean, it was just funny that he oh. said, you know, I said chocolate souffle. And he's like, Saka souffle. Like it was just one yeah. of those things where he just didn't hear me well, you know? Yeah. Saka souffle? Yeah. But anyway, um, he really is a legend. So big, big shout out. And the suspenders were his thing. Yeah, the suspenders. More suspenders. Yeah. Um, I was like, how much did you smoke? Seven packs a day at one point. And he then, did? Yeah. And oh, then, wow. Then he was rocking Jeez. three packs a day for a good minute. I mean, he has that really, that voice is a smoker's voice. Yeah. But he quit like 40, 50 years ago. Good for him. Yeah. Seven well, not anymore. Packs a day. Well, but, yeah. that's true. He's dead. Yeah. But anyway... Oh, Rest Larry. Peace, Larry King. How old was he? 80 something, 86 oh, or something buddy. like that. Yeah. He was up there. I'm really getting nervous about age and mortality. Remember that we watched a documentary about the villages in Florida, um, the old people place? Yeah. It looks kind of awesome. I kind of I want to go there. The villages? That documentary is great. Right. It's not called The Villages, though. No, it's, it's called A Little some Piece kind of Heaven. Of heaven. Some, some kind of, some of kind heaven. Some kind of heaven. Well, because I was discussing with my friend that you're going to die before me and so what am i going to do you're going to go to the villages i think i will but the the villages is a, or the the some piece of heaven's a really interesting doc because so the villages was originally built uh for like 800 residents yeah and now there's 120,000 and it's just basically they they bill it as disneyland for retirees i thought you were going to say they retardities go, didn't you hear him say nope uh retirees and you get this sense that they're telling people, like they even open the doc with, you can't, you can't say you're bored, you can't say you're not having fun, right? Oh, right. That, that's the big, like, kind of general blanket statement about it. But then they follow four people and profile them in more depth. And the thing that I left this doc thinking about and feeling was just how sad loneliness is. Like, especially at the end, like when, because there's people that are lonely on that thing. Know. And it actually real, like, it's not like a, just like a bummer doc, but you just, you really get to dive into these people's lives. And the one uh, playboy, man, My so dad. this guy was like a bachelor <laughs> his whole life and he's 81 now and he's living in a van and he's just targeting wealthy older women but he's like a hustler. He's hustling them. Mm -hmm. And he's really down and out at one point. And right. it's really sad You're, you're like, because no one will send him money or, you know, you realize he's out of options. And then he goes and he, I mean, I'm giving away, sorry, like details here, but he goes and he sees like an, uh, a lady that he clearly had a ha passed with. And he's like, are you going to let me stay with you? And she says, yes, she's 30 years younger than him or something, mm -hmm. 20 years younger than him. He says, yes, and then you see him bummed out that his bachelor persona has the brakes put on it. Like, yeah. you see him, like, the life leaving it, because he's, like, going along. She's like, well, I'm going to go to the grocery store. And he's like, okay. They hate the banality of he that. He hates it. He hates yeah. it. So you see him, he was really sad when he was trying to find someone, but you, he's, that was his personality, like, yeah. to, to go from, like, gig to gig but then when he gets the gig he he's it. like mm. that's so true that that's I, i'm very familiar with this personality type yeah let's just say i grew up <laughs> very intimately with this personality yeah it's like they uh they so desperately yearn for someone to care for them mm -hmm. and then when that person comes along they hate them yeah they resent them and then it's like i want to be free i want to be free i got free i'm free i'm free i like being free i hate being free it's a prison and then it's yeah. a prison being with somebody well yeah, you can it's see that it's troubling. this guy's cycle yeah. Like it's his, tw it's his 50 year cycle. Yeah. It's you devastating. Know? Yeah. It was really, uh, that, that's what I like. Cause you, you know, you just see old people and sometimes you're like, well, they're just old. They're content to, to have, um, you know, lunch and like a place to stay. But when you watch this doc and they really profile these different people, you're like, oh, it's, it's exactly the same as a middle-aged or 30 year old. It's like the same, um, you know, complicated life. 
it, uh, it's not necessarily yeah. simple just because the person's old. What I what depresses me is when they are like, well, I had a, a husband. He died a year and a half ago because he was like 80. Mm-hmm. And then what do you do? Do you go find another old husband who's just going to die off in another year? Like you forward, you form these bonds with people that are just going to leave you That's in true. such a short time, which is so depressing. But what I liked about the villages is that they built that place in mind, like having the boomers in mind, meaning how they grew up, yeah. how the places looked. So they'll make, they make the actual physical spaces look as though they're in the 1950s. Yeah. I was like, that's cool. I hope they do that for Gen X. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. by the time I'm there, they'll just play like MTV, like old MTV and Cindy Lauper and Prince. Everywhere. Yeah, they will. It'll all be different. Yeah. I'd like that very much. And that's where you will retire? Yeah. I was thinking that, and then I could just hook up with younger dudes, and that'll be fine. Where did this happen? Because they won't from? die on me like you're going to die. And then I'll go with my girlfriends, and then we'll get a place in Miami or something or in the what villages. What the fuck? I mean, I'm planning this shit out. It's going to be dope. This has nothing to do with what we were talking about. You're banging young dudes. Yeah. I think that's the way to go. I'm, I am a young dude compared to you. Only by three years? It that's doesn't count. That's a fucking lifetime. Not in middle age. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. We're lucky to have each other, I will say. Yeah, we are. We are. Because you got a lot of weird stuff. Going what do you on. mean? Well, we had this discussion in bed the other day when you're like running a new sketch idea by me. and It's you written. Were, it's written now. Sure. Yeah. And you were like, uh, do you think I could get so-and-so, this famous actress? And I was like, not if they want to work again. <laughs> And you were like, what are you talking about? What do you like? You were genuinely dumbfounded as to why an A-list or actress wouldn't want to record the sketch, the sketch. And like, which, by the way, I think is a really good sketch. I'm not disagreeing with you. I think it's really funny. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying you're going to have a really hard time casting A-list or people to do it because it's a bit it's weird and violent like for instance when we did the last the ymh live where we did sketches would you like to pitch some of the ideas you had originally that yeah. Lindsay, okay go ahead just go ahead well i did have you know the sketch where we end up doing it together um you play uh the ab- kind of the abusive girlfriend yeah you're the abusive um thankless spoiled girlfriend yeah and so I kind of lose it on you. Mm-hmm. Kind of lose it. Do you yeah. want to qualify? You want to talk <laughs> about that? What? But what do you mean? Originally, the originally it was that we go on the date and you make fun of my car, and so in the car when I snap, I take your head, I smash it on the dashboard, and then I push it through the window, and then I it's an accidental. You accidentally die, and a guy <laughs> watched it, and Lindsay said it was too aggressive and too <laughs> violent. And he thought that people might react poorly to it. And that nobody, no reputable casting people would even look at it. No, that's after I made it better. He s- still said that people <laughs> said that. So then I turned it into what we shot, which was throwing the rock from my rock collection at you. <laughs> right. And uh, he said that the casting people were like, we can't send this to people. And why, why is that? They said why? it was too much. Too much how? They said it's too many jokes, too funny. Too funny. <laughs> Like, but do you understand what about that might be too much? Yeah, I think what that people think are that? scared, people are weak, and they don't want to take risks <laughs> and work with real artists. Right. Okay. Do you think for a second that maybe it was too violent and that maybe somebody doesn't want to be associated with that kind of content? I guess so. But like, and then that lets me know right away that you're somebody I don't want to know either, you know? Well, there's a reason I was cast to play the woman in right, that sketch. Because you weren't going to do it originally. Well, I'm not a great, right. And I was not, had no idea. I'm not an actor, but I did it because I'm the only woman we could find who is dumb enough to do something. This is a great point. Yeah. I'm stupid. And I don't care because I don't want to act in Hollywood. It's fine. I don't care. I I just want to be a stand-up comedian. This this also, this reminds me though, you told me something that I didn't know. I have no recollection of. <laughs> you told me that when I was a young whippersnapper, I was doing a set in the belly room. Yes, and, and I watched you, you. You watched me and you told me a joke that I said that I don't recall. And then you told me that it put you off. It did. And that you were like, I don't think I really like him. Dude, first of all, <laughs> yeah. I don't remember this it's, at all. You know what's funny is that I've been carrying this memory 
for 15 years. And every time I think, should I tell Tom this memory? I'm like, well, no, I don't want to hurt his feelings. But I feel as though you and I are solid that I can tell you the, the you memory. Can, of course and it's you fine. can tell me. So back when we were baby comedians. I like, must have been. 23 maybe you like yeah. just landed in la okay like you were just at the you were in the belly room so mm -hmm. we weren't you know past the comedies where we were just doing the side rooms and i remember being in the back of the room and i had a boyfriend at the time i wasn't like looking at you sexually but i was like tom Segura is really attractive i really i wonder what kind of a person this guy is mm -hmm. and i was just intrigued yeah. You know, and I'm watching you and I'm watching you and you're just so handsome and the light is just really nice on you. Like you look, you look really cute. And then you go, <laughs> you guys ever have a one night stand and then don't shower so that you let the stink stay on you for, your, for a few extra days. And I remember being like, I'm out of here. Like <laughs> I immediately was just like, this guy's a fucking animal. Like. Who, first of all, admits to that? Like, that is so nasty. Like, he's so nasty. And secondly, I didn't, I wasn't, I'm not a one night stand gal. It's mm. just, I just can't. And so that, I was like, gosh, if I ever would want to date him, I wouldn't because. He's nasty. Y you're a one night stand kind of guy. And that's not, I'm not interested in that dude. Yeah. But then I was, then I thought about it and I'm like, that's kind of cool that he shared that thought. Like, that's really creative and really creative risk. And then I liked you because you took a risk creatively. Yeah. But personally, but I was like, I like would never content. date that guy. I, I would you. never date that guy. Because flash forward to um, the guy I was dating at the time, he had just, I think, passed his bar exam. That's right. And we took him to a strip club. And I was like, well, let's get my boyfriend a lap dance. Because at the time, I, we were on the outs. And I was like, I don't give a shit. Like, yeah. we'll be done soon. And I asked the guys. We were with Ryan and Matt Fol Folchron hey, which, which stripper should I choose to give my boyfriend a lap dance? And they go, ask Tommy, ask Tom Segura. And so that was the strike too. I was like, oh, this guy's a fucking degenerate. Like, ask Tom which stripper to get. Tom has one night stands and leaves a stink on his dangling. And I'm like, this guy's a fucking red flags. Like in terms of some guy I would never date. Yeah. And then yeah. you also made another comment. You said that, that no normal woman would tolerate no. me. No, no. L let's it put. It has to be a damaged woman. Yeah, like me. Like first of all, you got me in my twenties when I was the wires were crossed. Let's just say, Mama had some damage. Like my dad it, is a narcissistic alcoholic. My stepfather was a sociopathic criminal. So my male guidelines were pretty loose. So a guy who just showed up had a car, didn't drink, gamble do drugs, mm -hmm. you are like aces. So I could Pretty overlook cool. a multitude of flags. Feels good, feels good to hear. <laughs> feels but really you've mellowed out, you've really turned into quite a, a great husband and father. Thank you. Wait, what was the other red flag? You said was that no wim, no woman would Oh yeah, because even me. now, like I w the other day I was like, uh, do you even, you, all your nicknames for me are just terrible. It's like floppers, slobbers, tits, triple D slut wife, pig, pig slut tits. Come here, hooker. You know, <laughs> you, you're always demeaning me. And I'm like, in the beginning of the relationship, you used to call me like boo-boo chicken pot or, <laughs> or sweetheart or just anything nice and 15 years deep. And it's it's all insult. And you think most normal women, if I was like, hey, come here. Come, come here. here. You know what you say to me? What? Come here, you big titted animal. Yeah. That's literally what you say to me when you want to make marital love to me. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you big titted animal. <laughs> and then you fart on me all the time. You piss on me in the shower. And you think most women would be like, Boy, no. Boy, snot rock. Like, absolutely put not. Put the brakes on this. Absolutely not. Call your friends that you went to college with and tell them to pitch the sketch to me that you pitched to me the other day. <laughs> what what you suggested. Yeah. They would be like, you need you need a medical assistance. You need to see a doctor because <laughs> okay. something's wrong with you. Okay. And I promise you. And ask which wives put up with calling them big titted animals and 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 demeaning I'll have you know I farts. think a lot of ladies out there would be like well this our is listeners exactly what I'm looking for. that's because our listeners are just as troubled as I am <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking like regular normal women mm -hmm. no way no way no way no way what do you but think? I think they would think that, that I'm charming and playful yeah <laughs> and sweet okay because I'm saying it while I'm being sweet you know maybe that's why it passes yeah but then I was saying that you, too, tolerate a lot of my disgusting habits because Ugh. every boyfriend before you 
was not cool with my farts. I'm there now. Burps. I'm there now. I'm totally there now. Now <laughs> I see what they were looking at. You're so nasty. You fart all day. All you do is fart. You talk about farts. You shit. Yeah. You talk about shits. I'm over it. I'm good. Stop it. You're so nasty. You're saying you're over it? Is this the end of the road with us? Yeah. No. You're not going to make me be a lady, are you? I think it's time. You I can't. Think it's time. No, you can't do this to me. Yeah. Are you being serious? Mm hmm. I want you to be very ladylike. Go fuck forward. yourself. <sighs> that wasn't a good start. That's not a good start. I asked you for ladylike behavior and you told me to go fuck myself. Yeah. That's not, that's not nice. Babe, I can't. Could you realize how much I had to stop being myself when I was with those guys, though? They yeah. did not let me fart and stuff and yeah, talk about cool. my shits. I hated it. I fucking, I'm with them. I'm on their side. But you know why you tolerate it? Why? Because you have two pig sisters and pig cousins. and yeah. There's a lot of girls in your family that are pigs and savages. So yeah. you're used to it. True. Because ultimately, I think women are bigger pigs. Like yeah. The big, you know, <laughs> the, mis the mainstream media will have you believe that men are pigs. But if you go on a Q site, you'll find out that it's actually women. A Q site. Mm -hmm. uh, as you guys know, I'm hitting the road again. And my favorite part about traveling is time on an airplane to play Best Fiends. Yeah, because I don't need to be connected to the Internet. It's on my phone. I open it up and I am into the world that I love so much of my little slugs and the sound. And wah, wah. It's so silly. <laughs> and I like the level of like play. It's not so hard that i'm just like oh god i can't do this because usually i'm tired when i'm traveling so it's just like hard enough to keep me going um but not annoying and also they uh they change it there's more levels events and challenges added all the time so when you want just one more level it'll be there ready and waiting it's a great way to de-stress and there's over 100 million downloads. It's a five-star rated mobile puzzle game. It is a must-play. Seriously, once you download it, Best Fiends, boredom won't stand a chance. So here's what you're going to do. Download Best Fiends free today on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Brooke Linen. Some mornings you wake up feeling ready to just kind of pull the covers back over your head and go back to sleep. No judgment, of course. But let's make having the most comfortable sheets the reason why. Don't love your sheets? Brooklinen has you covered. So Brooklinen was started by Rich and Vicky, who also tried to find beautiful home essentials that didn't cost an arm and a leg. And when they couldn't, they founded Brooklinen as the first direct-to-consumer bedding company. They work directly with manufacturers to make luxury available directly to you without the luxury level markups. That's what I'm talking about. They have over 50,000 five-star reviews and counting. It's 2021. Do something nice for yourself to start the new year. To help you do that, Brooklinen has a special offer. Go to brooklinen.com, use the promo code MOM to get $25 off when you spend $100 or more plus free shipping. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Enter promo code MOM to get $25 off when you spend $100 or more, plus free shipping. Brooklinen.com and use promo code MOM at checkout. The yeah. challenge won by Steve Amiach. It's a lot of people saying these days that I say Juan incorrectly. Like they say I should be saying one. I think it's Juan. They say one. How about that? Who is that? That's Ariel Holwani, the big uh, MMA journalist. Oh, wow. Yeah. Guy does, he interviews Juan. all the big fighters and everybody in, in you know, notable in MMA. And uh, he's hmm. on my side. Juan. Yeah. Juan. Yeah. <laughs> Juan. 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 So now I was working on converting to the one side. And now I'm going back to Juan. I like Juan. Yeah. I Juan. Mm hmm I believe Juan. Swasantica. Uh, Swasantica is definitely correct. Juan. Definitely correct. Um, Native, what's the, uh, am I supposed to open this? Um, uh, yeah. So I, you know, it's just been such a, such a rough and tumble year. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's been hard on all of us. I think we're all real thankful that things have been going as well as they have over here. And, um, you know, what I wanted to do was show a little appreciation. And first, I'd like to ask you if the name Jorge Casillas means anything to you. 
Jorge Casillas? Yeah, maybe if you play uh, uh, before you open that, maybe if you play the video that's in that folder that says uh, "gift," maybe it'll remind you who Jorge is. Oh, Jesus, shit. man! Is this his head? That's the head injury. Yeah, this is his Correct. severed head. And if you remember, he was the CEO yes. of a company. Yes. That made tequila. Yes, I remember that. So as a thank you to you guys, I want to get you guys a bottle of some of his top-notch tequila. Oh, thank you, man. It's really nice of you. Um, I don't want to see him die again. That's, That's uh, really surprising sweet. to hear. Thank really? you for the alcohol. Yeah. <coughs> opening this I will here. be pushing past my inability to smell and taste to drink this. All right, this is probably going to sound really cool. To sounds the good on audio. Everyone yeah. listening right now is, is really like, Thank thrilled. you for opening that on the air. Um, okay, this I'm getting there. It's really what really wrapped. Mm. Um, all right. Thank you, Native. That's Very really nice sweet of you. of you. Yeah, no problem. You know, guys, uh, you, you guys are really good bosses, and that's just that's a little really thank nice. you. It's really nice. Also, okay. I'm so proud of you. Should we do a big YMH debut? Oh, that's lovely. What brand is this called? It's, it's called Galindo. Galindo. Galindo Blanco. Thank you. I love tequila. Rip. Makes me crazy. Rest in peace, uh, Jorge. Was it? Jorge Casillas. Oh. Okay. Rest in peace, Jorge. Uh, before we get into dates, I would love to give Nadav proper credit. Should we debut his new chompers? Of course. I am so excited for you. This is big. Yeah. The job you did it. You did do it. Tell us about the experience. Yeah, it's been uh it's been a long time in the making. Uh well, I mean Yeah, I mean I was trying to I actually tried to get my teeth whitened like right when coronavirus started. Yeah. And then, you know, uh, a whole bunch of shit got in the way and closed down and I couldn't really do it anymore. Yeah. Um and then uh in December, when we had like staff on the couch, the number one comment <laughs> I heard was like, "Jesus Christ, Nadav, your teeth are fucking disgusting." <laughs> and I was like, "All right, well, you know what? Let's do something about it." So yeah, good for you, man. You good know, a lot of people you. don't go. Let's do something about it. Well, yeah. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I love flogging myself. Yeah, uh, it's just like, oh yeah. Well, this is good ammo. Like, you're a piece of shit, Nadav. You know, it all helps me. You know. Yeah. Yes. Well, um, and people wonder why celebrities go nuts with the facial stuff, with the uh, surgeries. It's because you constantly get that kind of feedback, and you're always looking at yourself, and it's really easy to go down a rabbit hole. But this was such a needed thing for you. Look at those chompers. They look beautiful. You've got really nice teeth, and they were just buried under shades of yellow, and now they're so much nicer. Yeah, they're a lot nicer. It's uh, wow. I, I I got it all done in one session. You feel like you're gonna go revisit, um, get them wider. Yeah, I'm I'm not letting this get away from me again. Yeah. Like I'm going back to go get some trays, which is, I mean, I think that's kind of bullshit. I didn't realize that getting your teeth whitened came with homework, so I'm a little bummed about no, that. But that's it's necessary. like, yeah, it's I got I got to keep this up. You know, I don't I don't want to get the yellow teeth uh, comment again. Yeah, no. good for you, man. Good for you. Thank you. So last week we played for you this cool video. Hey, Natalia, it's Elliot. So I finally got my video CEO up and running. I couldn't help myself. I wanted to shoot this video to invite you to Curio this Wednesday at 7 p.m. We could do six or eight, depending on the schedule, but uh, my schedule's pretty tight. When I'm not bartending, I'm shooting videos like this, outreach to the dentist, get them on the phone, selling them, taking care of their ads, all that stuff. So uh, it's intense. Um, so embarrassing. I feel so bad for him. I really like I him. And I like him. I well, like him. you're going to really like this. Yeah. Hey, Christina. It's Elliot. <laughs> so I finally got my video studio up and running. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. I wanted to shoot this video and invite you to Disneyland this Wednesday at 7 p.m. for Jedi Training Camp. <gasps> Listen, man, I could do 6.45 or 7.15, depending <laughs> on the schedule, but, uh, you know, my schedule's pretty tight. When I'm not bartending, I'm shooting videos like this, outreach to the dentist, getting them on the phone, <laughs> taking care of their ads, part-time DJ, yoga instructor, <laughs> self-defense guru. So, uh, look, brother, Disneyland, awesome spot in Anaheim. <laughs> You've obviously never heard of it. It is literally the best-kept hidden gem secret in the city, but, I mean, you've got to go. Just your own <laughs> self-education about what is awesome in the OC. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Look, 
obviously I'm attracted to you. You're attracted to me. Oh my you're God. obviously a smart girl because you're attracted to me. We're obviously <laughs> two catches that, you know, actually came together. And I think we should definitely hang out, mister. Let's not let ourselves mister. get too busy, hombre, because I know <laughs> I'll probably get super busy. You'll probably get super busy there, Mr. Guy, because whilst beauty is very common, beauty, oh. and brains, and big wet sloppers is not. Oh. See, I'm not only telling stories, I'm changing lives. I mean, look at me, I got a green screen, come on. So yeah, man, let's chill. Holy let's shit. Have a conversation. Green lights. I like that. <laughs> See ya, fella. Text me back if you're interested. All right, bye. <laughs> Holy shit. That so was So this was brilliant. sent in by Anthony, what is it? Missiano, his IG God is damn. Howdy Anthony. Anthony, yeah. that was really funny. It's really funny. And he he kept calling her Mister. Her, you. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. The yeah, Mister Fella. That yeah. is brilliant. Ombre. Ombre. And he got the same exact background. Yeah, it's as great. Elliot did, That's great. which means it's a stock. Of course. Background. Yeah, it's a green screen. Yeah. Oh man. Like default background. That was so good. It's great. Really so funny stuff, blown away. Anthony. Oh man, um, yeah. That's really funny. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, <bread>. So <laughs> on the twentieth, Mister, on inauguration day, <laughs> yeah, I happened to open my Instagram. Oh yeah. And I was tagged yes. like I had just put out a special. Me too. Like I was, it was nervous. Ninety nine plus. I was like, what? And all these stories, and it was like <laughs> hundreds of <laughs> stories. Right. Ta 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 ta. And it was all of you yeah. uh, notifying me that Garth was singing at the inauguration. Um, it really was. I, I mean, thought for a minute that I had um, insulted somebody and I was going, I'd gone viral in a bad way. Mm -hmm. You know, when you get notified that much, yeah, you're, you're like, like uh-oh, uh -oh. what did I say? And then, I, and then I was like, oh, it's just Garth. They're just shitting on Garth. Thank They're God. I know. Thank God. It was okay. a relief. I was like, what's happening? I yeah. Know. Uh, before he did the inauguration song where he sang um, Amazing Grace, I oh believe, boy. he uh, he did an in he did pre-inauguration interview about it, you know, <gasps> here's some of the stuff from that. I think she said it best, unity, loving one another, man, that's uh, it's kind of what you've spent your time doing, and as a singer, that's what you get to sing about. So uh, this is a great day uh, in our household. Uh, this is not a political statement, this is a statement of unity. He had to say that over and over and over again. Because his fans were like, why are you <laughs> singing at the stolen inauguration? And Definitely. if you went to his page that day, there was, it was the first time you saw even more people, like usually it's just YMH comments. <laughs> and it was people that were like, I'm done with you. You lost a fan for life, <gasps> like, because he was singing at the inauguration of the stolen wild. election. This is kind of how I get to serve uh -huh. this country. Right. Our father served as a United States Marine in the Korean War. We had brothers that served in the Air Force and the Army. Um, this is my chance uh, to get to serve. You know what it is, Tom? I think it's that he has to be so deeply connected to every statement he makes. He can't just be like, yeah, I just want to perform it, you know, at the inauguration. Yeah. And he's like, my daddy, my brother. My uncle died in Nagasaki. Right? We're like, yeah. nobody, wa what are you doing? Just to fucking sing the song and shut up. That's well, your job. Because he's deeper than that. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was God. disturbing. It was sad. Try to remember, though, we, we are the human race. Yeah. So I've I'm seen the always billboard. going to find <laughs> sunny sides in there. This is a longer conversation probably between me and you, Jimmy, but the fact that we do make choices very much on the spur of the moment. I deal in music. I deal in raw emotion. Raw, that's what it is. It's because he's raw he loves emotion. Raw. Now, people were talking about he's got some great hair plugs, apparently. Oh. So. Lovely. So on the left, <laughs> on the left, he might just have the sprinkle juice in there because they'll, you know, that looks kind of like. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. So uh, this happened to me the first juice. time, like, I don't know, six, seven years ago. It was like a TV show or something I was doing. They're like, oh, you want us to. And it's it's like um, like a pepper shaker, and like when you're like now I'm bald here, but when it was like thinning, and you still have darker hair, they just put it in. It's like a pepper shaker, and it fills in the gaps, you know. So you can see him on the right there. 2016. So it's either he got some fresh pepper, or <laughs> or he's had the hair restoration, which 
you know, they do a great job now. Well, Pe- like people as hair restoration, I've seen amazing stuff. Look at Elon Musk. Elon. His hair looks amazing. Brian Erlacher, Dion, like they yeah. have incredible hair. Um, so there he is. Oh, it's a little dark. I wouldn't. No, that's before you. Oh, oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Okay. That's before. It's still too dark. Whoever dyed it there. It's it, real thin. Because the beard is super light. Mm-hmm. You got to match the beard a bit if you're going to cheat up top. Oh. And oh. That's at the inauguration. He's got a lot. Of <laughs> you know what he looks like? Remember, was it at baseball games? People would wear those obnoxious wigs. Remember? With like the vi- the visor. Oh. It's like a hat piece with the hair yeah, and the yeah. spiky hair. Yeah, it looks yeah. a little like that. Yeah. Noxious. Look how full Ooh. that is. That's really full. I'm not sure. Yeah, that yeah. Top, top, that's yeah. what it looks like. It does kind of look like that. I'm not so sure. What do you I think? wonder if I should hit him up like through <laughs> back channels to find out who did his hair. Because we have a similar build and a similar face <gasps> no. and similar hair. Why not? Yeah, you can what if try. G and I got the same hair restoration. Ask Agent Jeans to hit him up. But do you like how it looks? No, look. I'm, I'm trying to. Here's the thing. Instinctively, yes. I don't think it looks great. Really? Yeah. I'm because if you look at like Elon Musk's hair, it looks really good mm-hmm. compared to what he looked like before. That is yeah. that you can't even detect. I wonder who did his. You look at him before and after. He looks yeah. awesome now. That's amazing. Because he lost his hair prematurely, it looks like he was very young. When Does he it say how where where he did his? Mm, let me Google. Like that click that link, that Dude, right there. The he hair. looks great. How he did it, yeah. So, let's see. Elon Musk, extraordinary accomplishments. Let's see his balding. Scott, okay. Elon used to change his hair. Okay, scroll down. Wow. Yep. Okay. I'm wondering. I think it was just a speculation. What kind of hair did Elon use? Okay. The big question has to do with what exactly to bring that back. Like many magnets. Let's bring this to the analysis. Hair loss medication. Okay. So there's. And then. Finasteride mm -hmm. and mononoxide hair transplant it's got to be it's got to be a transplant yeah. there's yeah. no way hair plugs you know who i heard talking about like and i don't know who he referred to in it but the owner of the 76ers um he was in did an interview that i saw and he was talking about all kinds of stuff and then they mentioned his uh sorry is it not the 70 not the, the guy below there with meek mill right there that dude that guy What are we? What's his name? Mike right there. Ru- yeah. Mike Rubin. Yeah, Michael that's Rubin. him. So do his name, hair. Yeah. Where's the song? I know. He's so fucking it's terrible at like, it. <laughs> there's so much dead air. It's like painful. Where's Zolo? Let Zolo fucking look. He's younger. This dude was on. Yeah, see? He was on an interview show. Oh. Oh, he's bald there. Right. And now he has that. Now he's got that it. looks better. Yeah, yeah. That looks much better. So that's kind of what, that looks like that's what Garth went for. But he, he said that in this interview that he was like, oh, I saw the guy everybody's seeing, like the best guy. And I oh, think there's, he said, a, there's a guy. Yeah. I think he said it was a guy in Chicago. Yeah. And Dion's is, is um, crazy too. Mm. Dion Sanders, he, you'll see it here. He was... I mean, he would just—he rocked the full, thick, mm. bald head, mm. and now he has a full fucking head of hair. Wow! Look at that. That looks great too. God, it's such a yeah. difference, isn't it? That's bananas. Yeah. Wow. I, I would want to hit up his guy, but I'd be like, "Eh, do you do white hair? You know, I don't know like, if it's <laughs> just it's just for black guys." There's Erlocker oh, right wow. there. He's got a full head of hair now too. Looks good. Look, they can. What if I just show up on an episode here with like a full That'd fucking be, head of hair? Try it. Try it out. Yeah. Try it out. Okay. I mean, look, you've got the resources. You may as well. If you do, you have the will though. It's probably intensive. I don't know. You've always been kind of like, eh, I just shave it. I don't care. Yeah, I am. I know. I'm kind of. That's what I kind of feel Different. like. Different. Unless you really are motivated, it's going to take sessions. Mm. Lots of sessions. 
I need to talk to one of them about it. You need to talk to Garth. She won't get on the phone with me, but I think I can get one of the football players to <laughs> try it out. Yeah. So what do you think of Garth's hair? Um, um, yeah, I, I think, I mean, first of all, you know, same thing. He's got the time. He's got the resources. Like, he did uh, what makes him feel good, you know? You know what he's doing, too, is the fat guy beard trim. Yeah. He's cutting it right there where the chin should be. Yeah. <sighs> it's a tough move. You got to go lower, right? Yeah, also, there's no excuse if you're that wealthy, <laughs> I know to not get it together. I know, you know, because like I, I understand he's got to maintain the the everyman persona. Yeah, but you can also just clean yourself up and have the right people doing your hair, you know. Yeah, well, I just mean like you know why why isn't there just like a nutritionist that lives on <laughs> campus? You know, and he's got the hot dog neck too. When see how he puts his That's head what back, I'm saying. he's got the fat roll. Spend the money on the back of the Spend neck. Spend the money, dude. Spend the money. Yeah, get the trainer in get there. Get the trainer over yeah. there. The chef. Yeah. What's the problem? Yeah, it's time. Why are you, why are you drawing a fucking beard on? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think he looks better natural. I'm not digging the dark hair on top. I'm just not. I don't like it. I don't know. I just feel like if you thin out, you just got to keep it short like mine. Yeah, I, I know. I think, but you're lucky you have a handsome face and head. Like, you look great. Mm-hmm. You look great. Thank you. Thank but you. But this, I don't know. Um... Okay, so here's another one I want to ask. You finally came around. I wasn't expecting this. Yeah. But you came around and told me the other day that you like murder now. Yes. This is a huge revelation. Because for many years, I've been avoiding the dark side of humanity, that darkness, because I'm afraid someone's going to hurt me if I listen to those things. Mm -hmm. But then I listened to this podcast, The Apology Line. Yeah. I am hooked. Because it goes into the darkness of um, of people that commit bad crimes and stuff. I started listening to it, and it's um, it's captivating. Ooh. The Apology Line podcast uh, produced oh, by there? Wondery. Um, so I guess it was the 80s? Yeah, yeah it started it in early, the 80s. Like, like really early 80s. This guy set up, put up flyers, and started the Apology Line, which was a way for people... In New York, because it was just like a in the city, you could see this flyer, and you could essentially confess your crime yeah. or, or whatever you wanted. You can to apologize, apologize for whatever for you anything. Want. I I wronged this person. I stole something. I I you know I um, I mistreated somebody. Like whatever you want, and then it would be they asked you not to leave identifying characteristics. Like don't say your name. Don't, right. Don't be too clear about who you are because this will be pub publicly played. But it was just like this cathartic experience of saying, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. and getting it out there. And uh, this thing became wildly popular. Well, it became really popular. And there's a bunch of ramifications to putting up something like that. You might hear things you don't want to hear that the police might have to get involved yeah. in. And, and he was like, I'm not going to call the police. So but it will be publicly played. Right. Stuff like that. And then you also fig find out how it affected him hearing these people confess things and what his role becomes as this line evolves and changes. I'm not going to give away too much, but yeah, it's a captivating listen. One point he gets really engaged with a man who says he's really killing people. And I start when you start to really listen to how these guys think, it becomes an interesting psychology experiment. I'm, I'm always interested in humans. Yeah. And when you get to really, the reason I don't like those TV shows is because it's just the gratuitous stuff of like, and then he killed three bodies, and then there's like the bloody photo. But I want to hear why they think like that. What's wrong with them? Am I always, I'm always like, why, why, why? I want to know why. Yeah. So if there are shows like that where they get to the whys of it, and they, I want to hear the killer talking, Looking that's what's interesting. Like the interesting. Night Stalker doc. Oh, man, that was really scary. Well, that jag off. Was, that knucklehead. Was absolutely. Yeah. But I don't like stir in the pot the yeah, whole but time. I don't want to know the actual killings. Like yeah, the killings like, are pretty brutal. Yikes! But, but now I'm into the dark side of the forest. So what shows are we going to be watching? I've got a lot of things ready for you. But what can we what can we watch that it profiles the 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 mind of the killer? Oh, I have one for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I like that stuff. Now yeah. I'm into the mind. I got stuff. a good one for you. Like, what makes people that dark? It's so fucking crazy. Just looking for fun. Looking for fun? Trying to have fun. Trying good, to have time, good time, parties. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway, speaking of 
darkness and interesting things in the human psyche. We got some feedback from the paramedic from the last episode who sells her panties. We asked oh, her to write yeah. in, so thank you so much. <sighs> from uh, this is her name is Candy. Come now. <laughs> so if you recall, uh, can, uh, this uh, paramedic was selling her panties. Yes. Okay. Dick's hard again. Yep. In April, my hours were cut due to COVID. Because people were so terrified of catching it, they stopped calling us for minor things that they shouldn't be calling an ambulance for anyway. I needed a side hustle, so I Googled how to make extra money online. I came across an article about selling panties and decided to make an account on one of the many panty selling sites. You pay a monthly fee to set up an online shop using their platform. If you sell one pair, the membership has paid for itself. I didn't realize how common it is for men to want these used WAP panties. <laughs> I also started selling face masks. Slap a face mask between your legs for a few hours and you've got a very happy perverted man somewhere. Oh my God. I who is smelling your hoo-ha all day and only you and him know. So you put a face mask on that. I'm assuming like the kind that you peel, uh, you know, that women are always putting on you, and then it takes like a mold. Of no, your... it's a, uh, she's talking about the mask that we're all wearing. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I thought you meant a face mask, like a collagen <laughs> no. one. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I no. didn't know it would peel off perfectly in the smell. No, oh. So, so <laughs> that he's sniffing as he's walking around with his mask, he's sniffing your box. Let's do that. That is wild. That is wild. Man, that's a whole other business I should be doing. I have also fulfilled requests for the following. Okay, are you guys ready? This is what else you can buy online from Candy the Paramedic. Here we go. Let's hear it. Urine sold. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Urine sold by the ounce. Saliva sold by the ounce. Ugh. Female ejaculate. Mm. Feces. Oof. Now that's just money in the bank, yeah. Used pillowcase. I mean, easy. Socks, of course. Sweaty workout clothing. Come now, heart. And bras. Now, the workout clothing, I, I suspect, is a premium because Lululemon pants are very expensive. Yeah, maybe she doesn't give them those. <laughs> Maybe it's the, uh, you know, the target the brand target ones collection, that yeah. I have. Yeah. Sure. The not wiping thing comes last if you're smart. Oof. If you're smart, she writes in parentheses. If they want skid marks or no wipe after peeing, I do that right before I take them off and mm -mm. vacuum seal them. <sighs> vacuum seal them. I love that. I make 40K. She, sorry, I made 40K in 2020 on this alone. My husband thinks it's funny, weird, gross, all of the things a normal, rational human being would feel about this particular line of kinks. I'll send you something for your bookshelf, unopened, of course, but I'm not going to send anything without your consent. Love from Nashville, Candy. That's okay, Candy. We don't need a sample. We believe you. I believe you. Thank you, Candy. I think her husband thought it was funny and weird, and then he was like, that 40K is pretty cool. That's pretty good money in my He's pocket. Like, you can keep, <laughs> keep sending those panties out. You want to read this one? Oh, okay. Fascinating. Um, kinks I've seen as an... Oh, okay. Hi, Christina and Ted. I was listening to your most recent episode and wanted to share my favorite and weirdest kink requests I've had as a creator on OnlyFans. Giantess kink. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a, I get about two of these a month, but people request videos or pictures where I look like a giant, phone on the ground, me standing over it. They want me to talk about how tiny and pathetic they are and user requests it look like I'm stepping on them. <laughs> the sneezing kink. I've only had one request, multiple sneezing videos from me. They literally just get off on sneezes. I just sniff pepper for a few minutes and sneeze and as many times as I can and oh, wow. cha-ching. Jesus. Easy. This is all easy money, girls. Uh, chastity King. This is usually a request for videos pretending I found a key to a man's chastity cage. Then I proceed to tease them about how I won't unlock it even though I know they want me to. <laughs> Dick Rates. This one isn't the weirdest, but it is 100% the most popular among OnlyFans cr creators. I get like 10 of these a day. Guys just send a dick pic and ask you to rate their dick. Sometimes it t turns into small penis humiliation session. 
etc. Um, and this last one is a one-time request a friend of mine got that still kills me to this day. The person requested that she give him a list of foods, and he would eat that he would get those foods, shove them up his ass, take them out, and then eat them. He wanted to record that and then have her record a video of her watching it. Mm, okay. Love the show. I'll send any other crazy kinks that come my way to expand your knowledge. Sincerely, a queen over 18. I mean, if this isn't money left on the table here. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to hear anybody complaining that the <laughs> job situation isn't good. Unemployment says who? Yeah. You ladies are just lazy at this point. I mean, I've told you many times, you know, <laughs> stop sitting around and start hustling. You, you know, have, a you used, have a box, huh? At the very least. You got a an used, asshole? You got a pair of tits? A used pillowcase? I yeah. mean, that's like not even... We could be selling ours right now. Yeah. I like that you're like, we need to get on this too. Yeah. yeah. Socks. I got a ton of those. Yeah, sure. Not a big deal. Bras. Those are harder to come by. You know, a good bra. Yeah. I don't want to part with a good bra. I hear you. Right. Saliva. Ugh. Got a lot of that. Who wants that? Urine. Just put a mask down on your cooch for a couple hours. Vacuum seal it. That's what I'm talking about. 30 bucks. Boom. That is so easy to do. Yeah. You How can get many? those, uh, that box of like, you know, a hundred come of the ones, yep. that, like the sterile ones. Yep. You start walking around with like <laughs> stuff, like six of those in your crotch, go for a run. Doesn't that make you wonder how many guys right now are walking around in masks that have crotch now, juice on them? Now I am. Yeah. yeah. Like how many dirt bags out there? So you just got to look at the mask and look at their crotch and be like, oh, your dick's hard. You got a <laughs> pussy mask on? <laughs> Oh, okay. man, that is great. So now this also email came in. I think you should read it because okay. it's your line of reasoning here. Oh, Crystal's date with the king. Okay. Hey, Hitler's Christine's apprehension to go on a date with the king is completely R-worded. This is the potential for possibly the greatest content ever. And she's just going to piss it away, not even sell those piss-soaked panties. <laughs> It is incredibly hypocritical for Crystal to call herself ride or die, but then get all wishy-washy when the king wants to take her out. Yet another case of stolen valor. Oh. How can she stand next to a, a true ride or die like sweet, sweet Josh Potter, who literally went into the lion's den, I got know. the full frontal RPC treatment, and through the obvious agony of tit cups. Also the case of Nadav, everyone's favorite Jay, who at your request shaved his head and looked completely talked for months. <laughs> So I say either let the king take you to a nice dinner, most likely at the Olive Garden adjacent to the Ohio Park, or be stamped the Stolen Valor champ for all of eternity. Piss on me, beat me, your huge fan, John. Well, John, listen. I agree that we've all made sacrifices for this show. Nadab shaving his head, whitening his teeth, Potter going to RPC's den, Dr. Drew going to RPC's den. Absolutely. You Breaking getting that body. cool injury just for the video. Just, for the sh just to do a show. Josh Zola, who goes through all the shit and docking of inner parts, and he makes a strong point. King, I accept your date. And I look forward to our time in Ohio. I think that's where he lives, right? It is, yeah. I will come to you because I don't think you should come out here because of. Work hard, play hard. COVID. Live life 365. <sighs> That's what you're doing right now. <laughs> King, I would love to go out to dinner with you. Treat me like the queen I am. I want to know what we're going to do, though. Can you give me an itinerary, an idea of how you're going to treat me like a lady beforehand, before I really commit? You guys going to? No, I'm not oh, going to fuck. Okay. I'm married. Okay. But King, I have to warn you, I'm a married woman. I don't cheat on my husband, so. But. Like, it's cool if you want to, like, second base is cool. What's second base again? <laughs> is that boobs? Yeah. Oh, because he likes to see <laughs> boobs. <laughs> Come on. Yeah? Babe, you would let me show him? Show him? Let him play with him. No. Uh, <laughs> Tom. Yeah. Anyway, King, I, I do want to go on a date with you, so let's hook it up. Suck it dry. <laughs> okay, you come. <laughs> Take it easy, fuckhead. All right, so she'll see you soon, and um, yeah, we Jeez. got we just got to make the arrangements. We have to make the arrangements. I'd like to wait until it stops snowing in Ohio before I go. Yeah, so let's um, like you know, April. Yeah. 
Um, before we go here, this is pretty exciting. Uh, on the wrestling, you know, uh, show the AEW show that uh, the pr- Cody Rhodes wrestles on, yes, and he yes. he does the Go Big show where they fucked up Bert's name twice last week. Yeah, <laughs> they tried to get it right this week. No, yes. Go Big show Thursday night on TBS. Cody Rhodes, of course, Snoop Dogg, Jennifer Nettles, Rosario Dawson, and Burt Krishna. <laughs> Burt Krishna. So now there's... Burt, Burt Kersher. Bruce Kreiser. <laughs> Burt Krishna. <laughs> Three. Three times. <laughs> Burt, Burt Kersher. Burt Kersher. Bruce Kreiser. Bruce Kreiser. <laughs> Burt Krishna. Burt Krishna. Krishna is my favorite. Yeah, it's a good one. Bruce Krishna would be a good stage name. Yeah. Bruce Krishna. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, he's upset about that, right? Don't you bring this up on Two Bears? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. He get does he really get upset? No, no. I think he he realized that that you just have to accept it and roll with it. Yeah. Because there's no point in getting upset. Wow. Um, all right. Let's take a break and we'll be back in a moment. Let me tell you, I'm a mother of two little boys, and I got this guy right here to feed. And I can't always go to the store, which is why I love Butcher Box. It is delicious, high-quality meat delivered right to your front door. You put that meat in the freezer, and that way there is always something to cook in the house. You know what I do? I do Sunday treats at our house, right, Jeans? And you love it. Why? I got the Butcher Box. It is five, one rack of St. Louis ribs, one pack of bacon, and one pack of pulled pork for free in your first box. It is a meat that is free of antibiotics and added hormones. Each box has nine to 11 pounds of meat, enough for 24 individual meals. Options like 100% grass-fed and finished beef, free-range organic chicken, heritage pork, and wild Alaskan salmon. It is so good, you guys. Right now, you can get a free rack of St. Louis ribs, one pack of bacon, and one pack of pulled pork in your first box. That's one rack of St. Louis ribs, one pack of bacon, and one pack of pulled pork for free in the first box. Go to butcherbox.com slash mom. That's butcherbox.com slash mom. Even in the new year, it's hard to start a new routine, but if you're one of the 34% of Americans who made a resolution to be less stressed, Headspace is here to help. Headspace is your daily dose of mindfulness in the form of guided meditation in an easy-to-use app. Headspace is, the o- is one of the only meditation apps advancing the field of mindfulness and meditation through clinically validated research. I mean, that's what I'm talking about, you know? Like a, It's like a mood-boosting workout. You check out Headspace. Just 30 days of Headspace lowers stress by 32%, and just four sessions can reduce burnout by 14%. Check out the Wake Up daily original content intended to inspire your day from the moment you wake up. You deserve to feel happier, and Headspace is meditation made simple. Go to headspace.com slash mom. That's headspace.com slash mom for a free one-month trial with access to Headspace's full library of meditations for every situation. This is the best deal offered right now. Head to headspace.com slash mom today. Hi, jeans. You're back. We're here. We're queer. Get used to us. With us today is one of my favorite people. Um, She has such an impressive resume. You might have seen her on the movie Julia and Julia, which I love. (laughs) <laughs> Legally Blonde 2, Sweet Home Alabama. You might know her from such iconic programs as 24, Hello, Mr. Show, The Larry Sanders Show, Mary Lynn Rice Cub, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. What an impressive I resume. Can't I know. <laughs> that is, yeah, it is an impressive resume. You can't resume. clap because mm. you're too impressed. No, he that is broke exactly his right. Hand. Yeah, I didn't break my hand, I broke my arm, and now my hand doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, so good to see you. But what are you working on this? Where, yeah. are you, where are you at with it? Yeah, I can do like that kind of stuff, you know, but I can't. My extenders don't work all the way. Yeah. You know. Okay, so interesting. We do my credits and then you make it about you. I didn't make it about <laughs> and me. And what a victim you are. Can I, I have a it. moment? Sorry. Can I have a moment? Heard you have a stand-up special coming out soon. <laughs> <laughs> Could you look down a little bit more it's a February when you say 2nd. that? It's going to be Find on... a speck of dust on the floor. February 2nd. Channel that energy. Marilyn Rice Cub's new stand-up special. What's it called? It's called Live at the Pandemic. 
Yes. Garage. It's, it, it was filmed in your garage. It was filmed in my garage. That's bold. <laughs> Thank you. That is bold. Uh, multiple cameras? And by bold, do you mean... <laughs> no. <laughs> Crazy. That, yeah, but I mean... Not very smart. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean. I, I think it's it actually a very... I agree. It's a risky, creative choice. That's what I mean. Thank you. I think it's exciting when people do stuff like this. It is exciting. Yeah. I have to tell you, I am excited about it. You should. I. Uh, it's like half foundational standby pieces you know that i can count on and then with the real stuff that just happened to me like about my neighbor in the pandemic my dating pandemic that's exciting dating. let's talk about that how great is it to be dating isn't dating <laughs> what it's all about well because i've been telling tom like what am i gonna do when he dies and i'm gonna move to the villages <laughs> in florida I think. yeah but tell me what what so how long were you married for almost 10 years my divorce started when my husband left me. Um, he was so quiet that I didn't notice that he left. So. <laughs> and then I'm so spaced out, I forgot that I'm the one that told him to get the F out. <laughs> and it took me a while to notice. I just kept passing the bathroom, and I was like, something's different. And then I realized one of the electric, electric toothbrushes was gone. <laughs> and um, He was just gone. That was him. Yeah. Yeah. That was him. That's wild. I mean, almost 10 Can years. That, that's a good run. That's yes, a good yes. one. Yeah. No, I'm very proud of us because yeah. uh, we didn't know each other very well when we got married. So we did a good job. Yeah. And you have a kid. and. But do you recommend da like dating's where it's at? It's awesome. It is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and it's nothing but good things out there. It's so freaking cool. Tell me about I, it. First of all, I went on, someone talked me into, of course, going on Raya. Mm -hmm. That's a celebrity. Yeah, that's what you have to be like verified. If I, right? Can I do the eye roll <laughs> as yeah. far as I can? The who, Tom Segura. Who had to, who had to verify <laughs> that you're really Mary Lynn Rice Cub? And like, you know what I mean? Oh my God. How does that work? Let me tell you how long it took for them to get back to me. Yeah. Oh, that's insulting. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Like, number one, insulting. Number two, like, I'm in a tender position. Yeah. I'm about to start yelling. Like, you. You're going to make me wait to see if you can let me pay you to help you find, help me. I, yep. It's all there. It's so rude. Yeah. Wait, how long do they make you wait? It was, I want to say it was a couple months. A couple no. months. They're like, we're reviewing your. What do you submit when you're trying to get on? Like, what do you have to do? Well, give first it? of all, my photos were really sad. Even though I'm an international <laughs> superstar, I just took the <laughs> shots in my kitchen, you know, with the same shirt, uh -huh. like this yeah. androgynous, like. <laughs> because 49 you're, year old yeah like just you're, you're light from the, the window you're not the sexy character like whenever thank you're, you. you're casting thank you christina yeah, and neither am i <laughs> which is why i get along with you i think you do better as like quirky best friend so for, what is what's your sexy <laughs> you don't photo? have sexiness just in case you forgot <laughs> christina's here to remind you never feel sexy because you're not well, no, I'm like, just saying you don't lead with that. That's not your lead. No. And also. God, how do you survive I'm, without her? I'm jumping around, but it's all under the same umbrella. Like me in the 90s, I don't know how to like, I don't know how to meet people. You know what I mean? Like I had yeah. a backpack on. It's like books I'll never read. Like what's up with you? You want a BJ? Like not even in the club, just in the alley. Like you want a BJ? And then we're boyfriend, girlfriend. Like that's well, how I rolled it out with the right. gentleman. I don't. Gail you know, snail. I'm like, I got Anne yeah. Rand in my, I got some David Foster Wallace I'll never read, but I feel Blowing like I guys in alleys back then? <laughs> I had a lot of boyfriends. I'm wow. not, you don't did? feel bad for me. I didn't know that. You I always slut? got the men's. Really? Yes. I believe it. How I many? I all kinds of comedians. And, oh, yeah, yeah, we know that. And yeah. That's like what I'm that. saying. Yeah. You're like, you weren't counting that. <laughs> well, comedians are, yeah, I don't they're count not, male comics because they're, they're not people. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. They're just weirdos. You uh oh. Know? Well, forgot Hello. about that one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, because so, so what's your game? So you're on Raya and you're now, did you change your profile pic so that it's more? Okay. I got or? off there because. I couldn't. Be, and other people, they put music to it. No. Their, their photos are gorgeous. They're just, I'm like, I can't. But you already know who these fools are because theoretically it's all famous people. So like if it's Jennifer oh, Aniston. Oh, here's the other thing. You know she's pretty. Like, I don't know. They um, put you through like cycles. You can't just keep looking. They'll cut you off. They say, we want you to enjoy our community or we want you to 
invest. You know what I mean? I don't know the yeah, little yeah. word. We want you to take your time. So you can't just like, seek, 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 like search or whatever? Right. They go, you know, take this grouping and see what you have. Put, put a shout out. Send them a rocket. Say hello. Are you seeing nothing but people you recognize like when you're on Well, there? that's what I was going to say is like the first couple rounds, I'm like, come on, let's get to the re- reason why we're here. And then they wait until the third or fourth round and then they roll it out. And it's like Owen Wilson. <gasps> oh, I like Owen Wilson. Um, I know, right? Um, Wait, I like so Luke any Wilson, chick on sorry. there can message him, though? Like, Is if- this like Alcoholics Anonymous? I sh- I'm not allowed to like tell <laughs> no, them. Raya's going to come back and be like, you signed our thing. No, But can fine. can anyone message like Owen Wilson if you're on there? Yeah, but they're not going to message you back. <laughs> and then right. it's... Um, right. <laughs> who's the guy from Friends was on there? Chandler? Matthew Perry? Yes. Matthew Perry's on there? Yeah. Now it's exciting, huh? Wow. Now you want to get on. Lou, are you okay? Oh, you got it. Your thing. Knocked my thing out. Oh. So is it so one would of you, those? Would you hit up Perry and give him a beach? Or like what's, you know what I mean? Or Owen? She doesn't like that. If shot. I could find him in the 90s in the alley. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. But now. <laughs> now. They click on this and they're like, who's that lady <laughs> trying to act like she's indifferent? <laughs> Like people have, they're on a mountain. They're oh. they're at events. Why don't you just change so your bio? Annoying. I'll blow you in the alley. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I should have talked to you sooner about yeah, this. I, mean, I, can, <laughs> I could have I gone can, a whole different way for me. Let me take over your profile just for a day. Okay. Okay. That's a deal. That would be worth the forty bucks. So now hold on. Is it one of those sites where the woman has to initiate contact? You're thinking of Bumble. Oh, that's where the girl has to say hi yes. first, or the can anybody initiate? I think you, either one can say hi. Yeah, because that, that, that's why I got off, because nobody said hi to me. Oh. I had one guy. I had one guy. That's not true. Was he should... super famous? He was actually really cute and really nice, but he's in IT. I had one mm. uh, phone conversation with him. Mm-hmm. I know, right away, IT. Hmm. Right. I know. They're usually and awkward. And he talked... It was refreshing because he talked and he was friendly and uh, self-aware, but like I couldn't, it was like too much information, you know? He he told you too much about his past or was he too downloady? Like, yeah, too. I, my, my childhood. Da, da, no, da, it was like just, just too much, too many words. Too fast. Too fast. And I was like, slow down, man. I'm just like, yeah. I need a musician or someone, you know, <laughs> like let's, let's find a vibe. Don't someone less available to share. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Someone less available. You know, it reminds me, <laughs> check out this guy on this screen here. Like I can't go from zero to, oh. <laughs> he's available. Oh, what do you think's going on? <laughs> do you think he's just hungry or you think his dick's hard? <laughs> Honestly, at, at the very f- first seconds, I thought he was slow and that it was self-soothing. <laughs> yeah. And then at the four or slow. five second mark, it became sexual. Yeah. Who's filming him? Just a cool, lucky person. <laughs> His cool friend. His friend. Like me and Julie and Julia. It'll be yeah. me and you this. Are, you're the BFF <laughs> filming. Well, you know what this, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, we know. We, we debated, know. we debated, like there was a debate here about what's going on. Um. <laughs> Like a couple people, like your friend Christina here was like, I think he just liked dirt. Yeah, I thought he had pica, which was, uh, a, it's a disorder where you eat, um, you know, inanimate, pla- like plaster or soil, things of that nature. Yeah. Right. I think is. I mean, I guess if you're eating, I was going to say, why would you eat so you Off would, a boot? <laughs> but why not just have a bowl? In a subway. Yeah. yeah. Why not have a bowl? I like yeah. soil. I'm having a yeah. breakfast. Because he's going to JSD as soon as he gets off the train. So that's why it's but on the See, boot, that's the thing right? is I didn't put the sexual connection to this. Because it's it's a performative. Right. It's a show-offy. Mm-hmm. The performative. Uh, debased. It's a. Uh, right. Like he the likes real backstory a, here is he met uh, you. Like he met he you likes, on Raya, and you were like, "Take this boot on the subway, eat it while we, you're on your way home." Or <gasps> you know, and then that's what's going on. Is pretty much. Would you be I, into that? <laughs> I have a no, no. I I have a problem, which is two things. <laughs> One, I could almost see myself loving just telling someone what to do. Yeah. Really. 
And then the oh. other part of me is it kind of reminds me of one of my credits. It reminds me of a character I played, Gail the Snail. Yes. Yeah. In on some cu- on the cutting room floor, there was a scene <laughs> where I was humping a pillow and the cameraman was behind me near my butt crack and he was like, "Can you pull your pants down a little to like get a funny somewhat ass shot because gail is like she's looking for pot nubs in the carpet and she's (laughs) humping a pillow and without hesitation because it was for comedy i'm like yeah i'm humping that pillow (laughs) but that was the closest in my mind i got to like the beginning when you see him and it's just that like that (laughs) yeah kind of glazed over yeah he's already walked into that the shame he's in a shame position yeah yes. but it's like a show-off shame position you know what's really interesting about you because you're both a stand-up and, a, and an actor is that you're really good at reading emotions and like you just told the whole story you know i don't see all that i just see <laughs> yeah, she just sees like oh, that guy likes dirt yeah it's really neat how you read all that by the way speaking of i don't know if you want to make some extra cash but you can sell your panties online I do need some extra cash for forty dollars a pop. Or That's not bad. I'm on Cameo. Why not just sell the panties? <laughs> Absolutely. While you're at Pantios. it. Pantios. Yeah. That's a great idea. <laughs> you can also sell your urine, your <laughs> saliva. No, not the urine. Why was I like, okay, panties, but urine? <laughs> Here's another thing you can do. You know how everybody has masks on? <laughs> sure. Okay. You take a mask. You put it in your panties. <laughs> oh. You go for like a well, jog. Mix and match. Match. Yeah. yeah. You go for a jog. You get the saliva from up here and the juice from down there. <laughs> from down there. It's you a put it in, for you double, put it in a vacuum seal price. bag, then a guy pays so that he can wear the mask that you had in your crotch. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This lady does that. It's a whole yeah. new world, guys. It's a lot of money. Modern world, huh? It's a lot of money. <laughs> Hashtag rich people problem. <laughs> it doesn't connect, but... You can also sell your feces, your used pillowcases, your socks, your sweaty workout clothing. Or your bras, just so you know. Used pillowcase is so innocent compared to feces. Yeah. So easy. That It's easy money. Yeah. That's what I mean, I don't know why you're being such squares about it. Just fucking sell them. <laughs> Some guy, poor guy, just wants to smell your pillowcase. What's wrong with that? Why That's don't you what help I'm them saying. Out? I know. a fucking poor guy out there. I just want to smell your pillowcase. I'd let him. The only problem is the workout clothes, because you and I both know how pricey those can get. Yeah. And I don't want to part with them if I'm not making just them up charge. scratch. Just upcharge. It's a fucking seventy dollar pair of tights. It's fucking two hundred fifty dollars. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you can go buy another pair. We could get the panty pack one. from, uh, <laughs> you know, like a Hanes. There you go. See, Rainbow now you're pack. thinking. I feel like you guys need to come around. You're just being total square. <laughs> are you our pimp? What are you doing I'm just, right I now? I am a business advisor. You're really. He really. Yeah. Did you see going that? for it? It was a shift. Yeah. For sure. The well, we like we found. Like, come on, do it, bitch. We found another video that's pretty cool. Uh oh. <laughs> Some people just cannot believe that I am who I am. Uh, claiming, for example, that I disinfected a shoe before I fucking licked it. Uh, well, here is the shoe I'm wearing. I hope you can see that. This is unfortunately. I'm in a construction zone with. Uh, uh, hello. With uh, hello. <laughs> a bunch of workers. Nasty floor. Uh, uh. What is he doing? People cleaning supplies. Hello. Oh, that was to them. Um, I thought it was to us. And uh, my shoes. Uh-huh. I walked through grease, mud, dirt, everything, and uh, sweaty, sweatful Come on. laborers. Come on. No, get to have it. more laces. <laughs> okay, how much time do you have? This is really different. Uh, hang on. No. I don't know why. And uh, you can see... The bottom of the shoe is not clean. People, I'm John fucking McAfee. Thank you. Is that really John McAfee? Yeah. I like how he did a slate at the end. Yeah, (laughs) he did. Based in Los Angeles. Marilyn Rice Cub, 5'6", based in Los Angeles. <laughs> now he, hire me. <laughs> here's what's different about this. He did his own. Like the other guy in the subway is clearly wild. he's licking someone else's boot. You know, right. they're not. He's like, yeah, I'll lick my own fucking shoe that I disinfected That's before I walked through this place. So what's going on here? You have the analysis. Oh, do you no. know? Do you know who what's John the, McAfee is? Pre- 
pressure's on. First of all, yes. You do. He is famous. Yes. In the boot-looking genre. You wait. Mil- milieu. <laughs> That's why he knows the suspense of that unleashing, you know? He knows to show the world. He knows to say hello to other people. This is John fucking McAfee. Thank you. Thank so, you. But he also <laughs> wants to be real. He wants to show you that right. he's down. But you're, you're totally aware of him, though. Yes. Okay. Very famous. Did you know that? Oh, you, you know, like the McAfee <laughs> antivirus software and everything, right? He is the third cousin <laughs> removed, <laughs> and he is bitter. Here, that... this is about him. This because there was a documentary made about him, and this is this part is about him. What did he have you do? Um, sit on this hammock. The hammock has a, ha- a hole. Yeah, he would cut cut a little hole, and you would sit there. He puts his in under your butt and Ooh. he asks you to shit in his mouth and sing. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So that's the guy. That's the guy that they're talking about. That's John. And John. so <laughs> he's so <laughs> famous and cool. And he's on Raya. So that's why we wanted to talk to you about oh, him. Oh, I should I sh- got him off up. too soon. Hit him up. Guy, yeah. the guy. Let me let me ask you. You could clean Wynn. up the house. Absolutely. Let me let me put the scenario the by you. Okay, yes. you meet your dream guy. He's a musician in a band, whatever. He's mysterious yet still available. Doesn't talk too much. Doesn't talk too Thank much. You. He cleans, he cooks yes. healthy vegan meals. Oh. You like that? Yeah. Not enough for vegan. That'd be great. No. But his one thing is that every now and then he brings out the hammock and you got to sit in the hammock and take a freshie in his mouth. But that's it. Otherwise, yeah, everything is perfect. Let's point something out here. You're not a fucking child. So don't be a baby about it. Just right. fucking take a dump in his mouth and it's over, you know? But then everything else is like he's a millionaire. He's supportive. How often does he want that? Just once every three, four times a year. Four times. Oh. Quarterly. Quarterly. Yeah. Quarterly. Yeah. Right when he gets his numbers <laughs> his, for his company. <laughs> with yeah. the, uh, he's like, earnings, hey, earnings, earnings are. report. Yeah. It's exactly. time. Got my earnings report. <laughs> we had a great quarter. You got a dump ready to go? Yeah. And then you got a brown in his mouth and that's it. Well, that put, puts a pressure on me to be more regular <laughs> yeah. than I am. You know, that's fair. I think it's a really fair actual. I got to get more greens in the diet. That's right. I but you, but, you, fiber. but you would know when that quarterly report comes out. So you could prepare. You could right. have some fiber crackers. You but what if it salads. comes too soon? It happens too soon. What? The brown or yeah. the report? Oh, well, you call him in a day early. Okay. He'd be open to that? I think so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But you're not going to like, you know, baby out of this thing, right? Like, oh, that's dirty. <laughs> yeah, what's the big deal? Four times a year is not a big I mean, I got to go anyway. That's yeah. Exactly. Big whoop. Yeah. I mean, you're making someone so happy by just taking a dump in their mouth. Like, yeah. You it's a victimless that? crime. You ever think about that? <laughs> I never think about that. <laughs> now you are. Though. I don't think about that. Now I am. Yeah. That have, is neat. Have you Wait. met any guys that have interesting proclivities? Oh, I thank you for saying that. Because I was going to say earlier before the Scott and the um, <laughs> hammock and <Yeah>. the poop. <laughs> hammock. Oh, and the poop. Well, the girl before Scott. her was so adorable about <laughs> it. so yeah. sweet. But that's also creepy because it's, it's mm. like a dissociative sweetness. Right. Just oh, trying to yeah, make yeah, it okay, yeah. right? That's true. That's She's true. laughing. <laughs> That's how I'd the be. Poop. Like, then I'm at a hey, I'll poop That's true. Mouth. Not a bad way to be. I did date a guy $17. with a foot, and he did like it when my feet were dirty. Nice. And I let him go for it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that's that's harmless. It is harmless, and also it's fucking hot. Honestly, too. it feels good. <laughs> yeah. The foot is sensual. Yeah. I was surprised at how it's kind of like oh, the back of your knee or somewhere that you discover is like. Feels more good. sensitive than you thought yeah and it was like good for you getting off down there there you go on your own put that in your bio i will put that on my wikipedia yeah <laughs> for sure yeah now we're talking about dating do you have a site that you like like you, raya sounds like it was not what you thought it would be are any of the other ones good i do i will not do it you will not do it again What you say that now, but what what if you were to get an amazing (laughs) dating message sent to you? 
Oh. Hey, Natalia, it's Elliot. So I finally got my video CEO up and running. I couldn't help myself. I wanted to shoot this video to invite you to Curio this Wednesday at 7 p.m. We could do six or eight, depending on the schedule, but uh, my schedule's pretty tight. When I'm not bartending, I'm shooting videos like this, outreaching the dentist, get them on the phone, selling them, taking care of their ads, all that stuff. So uh look man curio awesome spot in german village you've obviously heard of it before it is literally the best hidden kept gem in the city i mean you gotta go just for your own self-education of what's awesome in columbus you yeah. know what i'm saying okay. fucking moron. <laughs> we're gonna need like a semester to get into this one because this guy yeah right? is a goddamn mess <laughs> do you want more why is he like obviously oh it's so good well and i so, like so you and i this Wednesday, 7 oh. p.m. Look, obviously I'm attracted to you. You're attracted to me. You're you obviously are. a smart girl. You're obviously. about to be a dentist. You know, I'm a recovering attorney with an Sexy. MBA who's about to be a millionaire in the next 18 months building a digital marketing agency whilst bartending. Whilst bartending. Whilst. It's Shakespearean. Oh, Ooh. man. Let's not let our fucking busy schedules get us out of this shit. Uh, we are obviously two catches that have actually uh come together and i think we should definitely hang out man let's not let let's not let ourselves get busy because i know i'll probably get super busy you'll probably get super busy and then <laughs> life will just take us to our next course i don't want that to happen without us at least sitting down having a little chat okay yeah gesticulate like in a confident way is he holding a vape pen i wish he would vape at the his, end of it uh, and then it's a pointer it's also a laser i think it's his pointer. green screen you know oh. thing because while beauty is very oh. common, beauty in brains is not. And that's what always has intrigued me. And then sure enough, that's what's intrigued me about you. So yeah, man, let's chill. Let's hang out. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> How it's dare both you. of us Dale, are like... chill. Be a good time. You chill, bro, you, dude. Text me back if you're interested. Bye. Bitch. I mean, why doesn't he just dig a grave? Because he just buried himself it's in that grave. It's a lot. It's a lot. I am, but I actually feel really bad because yeah. I think this reminds yeah. me of other videos like this where we've watched them and you go like, oh, I like everybody, <laughs> everybody can have an instinct to say something. And then usually the part of your brain that goes like, Duh, don't send that or don't, don't <laughs> yeah. do that. Like you're excited. You're excited to express And I was wondering if there were points where that was his weird attempt at humor or like yeah, he part, is trying to be cool. He trying. thinks he's like being easygoing. And then I'll go global and say the world we live in, maybe videos like this, like he feels like that's what you have to do. Would a, would a video invite to a date freak you out? I think it's, it's a little. It's the worst. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you and want it, a phone call, right? I mean, a phone call. A, a, or a phone text. call for asking well, out on the date. That's a good segue into my, I don't know if I'm going to get into it. The, uh, I may, okay. The. I want to. I kind of want to tell you about two COVID dates I went on. One yes. one was at a laundromat, and it was a black man in a really nice car. The second one was like a friend of a friend. What he look like? Cute, <laughs> funny, was he black? humble. No, oh, white. Jesus. First one black, second one white. Okay. okay. But overall, as a general, I realized it should have started as text. It should have went to phone call. It should have went to freaking goddamn Zoom. Right. Mm. But I was talking to my friend about this and she goes, you know what I admire that you just kind of went for it. I was like, I don't. Like, that's how I've lived my life is just throwing myself into stuff. It's like, I don't have the time to, I mean, I do have new comedy bits from throwing <laughs> myself. Like were both dates bad dates? Um, well, they were, I keep knocking my, out, my feet up on the thing. The first one, I was at a laundromat. It was 100 degrees out. I got my uh, expensive, you know, leggings on, mm -hmm. Hawaiian print. I mentioned this. <laughs> it's very hot. Important detail. Yes. That's what I think it was because I had a mask on. I had no makeup on. I was at the laundromat, like not. And he drove his car by and said, hi. And I was like, hi. And then he came back a few hours later and he's like, you're still doing laundry? And then pulled and you're over. You're like, you're still black? Something like that? Or no? I'm just like banter. Just like... 
Yeah, he would still be black. Yeah, yeah. That's, what that's not going to change. Right, that's right, right. Uh, well, in this lifetime. Huh? And, and it, it is laundry. It takes a few hours. It takes a few hours. So dipshit. Right. Yeah, I'm still fucking here. Cause you, it, know, you know, he's being flirty. 45 yeah. minutes. With his laundry. I was into yeah. it. Okay. I so wasn't that, like dipshit right out of the... Yeah, here, that's, that's my that's, problem, though. I have a double personality because I'm like, make myself open to it. And then it's not till later that my... I'm like either the smoother or I'm just a liar because I'm just like, or maybe I just am so impressed that I'm getting attention or something. You know what right, I mean? Like right, he pulled right. up, he started talking, and he's he his, was like, "Check this shit out." Uh, I see you still doing laundry, like that. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Yeah, do the date with Mary Lynn. Go ahead. What's up, girl? <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? I see you still. You need some Tide. So much lip, lip licking mm-hmm. along with the hand wringing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Then he licked his own boot. <laughs> <laughs> he so, goes, watch this. Watch this. I'm going to take a shit in this hammock. No, over okay. Here. Car was clean. Car was new. Wait, on. you got in the car yeah, right you got away? got in the street? No, 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 no. Oh. I, no I'm just saying oh, I'm just visually, okay. I'm trying to get away from the lick. The okay. impression of a black person but, and the <laughs> lick lipping. Oh, I'm sorry. Lick, 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 so, lick, lick. but the, the is his stuff in the laundromat, or he just have, have yeah, why is he Okay, he was the at the Ralphs. Okay, and this was part of his pickup line. And I'm telling okay. you this. I noticed because I was talking to him in the parking lot. His car is nice. He is not. He's good looking. Mm-hmm. He looks responsible, clean, okay. well spoken. And he said he was at the Ralphs, and he goes, "I got my DMV. You can." Uh, register your car at the Ralph's. Oh, oh that's kind of smart. So that shows you he's got. And I was like, crappy. impressive, because he doesn't know I'm an international superstar. Right. You know, <laughs> I, he thinks I'm a lady at a laundromat, and that's a good. I'm doing laundry. You're getting your car registered. Right. Maybe we can do our things together. Are you my second husband? You know. Yeah. <laughs> so he says. Also that he's retired military. And so I was nice. like, That's good I like you. Thank you. Yeah. And then in a final move, which I kind of liked, but I also was like, uh, take your mask down. Let me see your face. No. Yes. He, he says that to you? Yes. And, and you had seen his face. that He wasn't wearing a yes. mask? Because he's did... in his car. And he okay. rolled the window down. Okay. And we're standing apart. And I kind of laughed. And then I fucking did it. And was I was like I'm alive again. I'm a woman. Yeah. This man wants me. Yeah. No makeup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know what he saw first is that babanga. Babanga. <laughs> so wait, did you guys go out after that? Yeah. So 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 yeah. then. This is a whole side story. I was staying in an Airbnb because I Give stole, stole number, my house. Bitch. All right. I so I so I think I I was in this headspace of like in between anything goes I don't know what my excuse was but he texted me and I thought he was asking me in general what are you doing but he meant like right that second right. oh wow and Forward. he and he was like do you want to go You're like I'm working on a script I'm just kind of he's like <laughs> like nothing I think I I indicated like nothing and then he was like whatever it right out of the bat off the bat there's there's a so i went to have tea with him at a starbucks outside mm-hmm. that's a nice covid date right sure. yes so like it's fine he's fine he's a lovely guy but he i'm not there's no big build up to like well okay so he we're talking he's like showing me pictures of his kid he's kids he's like do you like red wine do you like italian food he's making plans for when COVID's over and he's like, I want to be close to somebody. Do you like watching movies? I'm like, yeah, who doesn't like all of those things? Yeah. Do you want to go to Santa Barbara? And then I made the yeah. mistake because, you know, he's going to be my second husband. I was yeah. like, let me be honest with him. I made the mistake of telling him I do comedy. And oh, then he goes, shit. I'm pretty funny. Well, no. What's the other one that he Tell could me say? A job. Yes. Oh. And he used to be like promote comedy rooms, so he oh, has like an in. Shit. Tell me a joke. And you're like, <laughs> and I go, yeah, yeah I tried that right. a couple times. <laughs> Don't no, go. Tell me a joke. He thinks he's gonna bring me out of my shell, and like tell me something funny. And I finally, I was like, it doesn't work like that. I go, uh, the more you ask me that, the more unnatural it gets. That there's nothing funny about that. And yeah. I said, I, I don't really need you to like help me be funny. That's just that's not really how funny. Works. works. Yeah. 
um, oh, okay, okay, well, uh, oh, no. you know, and then we have like a little rift, but then, and in my mind, I'm like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Like, yeah. clearly this is done. But in his mind, he's like, we're married. <gasps> and so he keeps on with the, you know, do you wanna do this? I'm really looking for a commitment. I'm, I don't wanna what? be messing this around. Is a d- first date? Yes. Jeez. It's almost as if it didn't matter it, what kind of person I was. It didn't matter to get oh, to right. know me. Right. I, I just was like, good enough. He yeah. sensed that I was like. It's almost as if it's the kind of guy that circles a laundromat next to the Ralphs <laughs> looking for <laughs> chicks and Even leggings. The next one. It's so, but that, that's really and then when creepy. We went, but I have to tell you, physically, like I was attracted to him. He was an attractive man. Yeah. So we go to leave and he's like trying to. And this is like, I have I have issues of I would rather we fucked in the parking lot is what I'm saying. <laughs> Holy shit! But no, I would rather get through the, the my my issue is I don't just go bye bye, I'll yeah. act it out until it's over. So we didn't like kiss or anything like that, but it was like a physical. You, you know just what I banged mean? Banged in the parking lot real quick. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Not at all. No, not at all. Not at all. He just, like, I know I wanted to make the story go somewhere. It doesn't go anywhere. He just, like, tried to touch my, like, waist. You know what I mean? Like a like a friendly. And then I went, (laughs) and, like, pulled away. Oh, really? I'm, like, reaching for my car door, and he's, like, trying to let it linger as if we have, like, some magic going on. And he's like, you have so many walls up. Oh, boy. And then I finally was like, I like my walls. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. So there was that I'll be one. doing laundry again on Friday. I'll see, you <laughs> yeah. see you there. <laughs> yeah, that's how we're going to build it. Yeah. Oh, that would be a good tension builder. So that was that. See the you there, of- and I'm not going to talk to you. There's no way he didn't <laughs> message you again. Correct. Yeah. And then I just fizzled out of the... Did you ghost him? Like, stop answering? No, I think I just said... I don't have the time. That's nice of you, for though. A relationship. That is nice. That's nice of you. Now, you can't go back to the laundromat. You know that, right? You have to choose a new one now. Or at least a different day. Jesus. I don't need to go to the laundromat anymore. That was when I was at my Airbnb. Oh, and yeah. And I was going to the Petco across the way. It's there a pretty go. sweet spot, though. I think deep I know in the talking valley. about. I know which one you're discussing. Can actually, I ask you a sidebar out. question? Yes. How do you pronounce the word W O N? Juan. Oh. oh, Juan, you got me. Juan. That's what we say, Juan. Yeah, we say Juan. These donkeys Juan. say one. They say one. One. It's Juan. They're like, oh, it's a homophone. I uh, I feel like I was tricked because it obviously is the word one. Right, but it, but you well, say when one. When you said it like that, it, I was the transfixed. The challenge Juan by Steve Amy. It's a lot of people saying these days that I say Juan incorrectly. Like they say I should be saying one. It's Juan. I think it's Juan. So I say Juan also. I say Juan. And then these fucking dopes are like, it's one. It's one. I feel like I just entered another, like I, a, a new reality. Yeah. That's higher. That's above other people. Totally. Juan and is, you magically drew me into it and I didn't fail the test. You didn't fail it. You're like my Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> there you go. You looked into my eyes and I was like, Juan, it's Juan. You no, know. Juan, she knows. I feel about, different now. Thank you for that. You're absolutely w- so it, welcome. What about the Nazi symbol? That is called a... Swastika. Swastinka, right. Swastinka. <laughs> Here's how you're supposed to say it. Swastinka. Swastinkas. <laughs> Swastinkas. I like that. That's cute. Swastikas. Yeah. Swastikas. Can I hear it again? <laughs> sure. One second here. Let's see. Swastikas. Swastika. God, I like his tone too. You no. might not like it if you see him. No. The tika. <laughs> Probably. May, may here ask, is oh. a dollar sign, a pile of them. Then I have peace signs. <laughs> <laughs> this and guy. Have, is he on Raya? Then lastly, not the do 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 treasure trove of swas and tikas. Here, I'm gonna show you real quick. Doesn't make sense. There you go, oh. all different colors too. Swas and tikas. Don't you hate when Adorable. you only craft for crafting for scrap <laughs> scrapbooking? When you only have swastikas in one color, and you're like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> yeah. There's so many other colors. Especially when you're feeling creative and yeah. you want to reach for it. Yeah. You want to put some yeah. glitter. You know, you exactly. don't want to. <laughs> in different sizes. And, yeah. This totally looks like the kind of shit my kid would bring home from school, you know, if they were into that kind of stuff. You want to know something cool if you ladies Gosh. start selling your panties, which I hope you both do. <laughs> 
is you never know who will get a hold of them mm-hmm. and where they'll start sniffing them. For instance, oh, shit. in this video, oh, this is a, um, a meeting where a Brazilian politician is in a Zoom meeting and doesn't realize that his video is on. So, top left. Oh. That guy's like uh, not phased, <laughs> not phased. <laughs> it's Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody says anything? Uh, everyone let that go. Yeah. <laughs> They're so used to this degenerate stuff. Who's that guy that Jade is D? Oh, on uh, uh, Jeffrey CNN. Tambor. Yeah. Not Jeffrey Tambor. Not Tambor. Tubin. Tubin. <laughs> Same shit. He did some other creepy shit. But he fucked somebody on set. But Tubin. I made out with Jeffrey Tambor you on did? the Larry Sanders you show. Did. How was it? For so long. And then when they cut it together, it was like 20 seconds. You yeah. know what I'm saying? In real life, it was like three to four hours. Did he have oh dad, God. dad mouth? He's older. Yeah, it was like making yeah. out with your dad. Yeah. yeah. Did, did, you see his, did he put his boner? tongue in your mouth? Kind of. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, why, dude? Did you feel his boner? No, no. He didn't have a care. boner? <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. I'm a failure as a woman. He had a boner. I don't know. No, I know. I'm telling you. Oh, he really? had a boner. Yes, he really? talks about it. Absolutely. He, he talks, talks to you about it? About yes. It. <laughs> yes. Is that why you brought me here today? Yes. He's oh. right here. Jeff, come on in. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry you got canceled. We want to bring you back. Let's bring you back. Mm. He's great. I mean, he was, he's, a he's fun, great. So funny. So, we're great. so, so funny. Like, I, some I, of my favorite scenes. May with I ask him. you a personal uh, post divorce question? Yes, please. Have you broken off that first D? That's a no. Okay. Uh, there, no. You're not there yet. No. Well, it's COVID. I imagine it's, it's hard COVID. to. Okay. Did you imagine you're like, once I get out of this, I'm going to. I actually pre, I'm spilling it all. Pre my two dates, the other one that I didn't tell you about yet. I kind of re, not got together with sexually, but re saw two different exes. Wow. Which was, and I, I think maybe the COVID brings it out because you want someone who's familiar. And it was, they're both like, it was really enjoyable. And I did have like a kind of a makeout sesh, but then wow. not going to go there with either of them. I know. Was it weird to go back to someone mm. you hadn't been with in like a decade? Yes. Why not go there? Why not go there? Why not go there? I tried to. Oh, you did try? I couldn't. Yeah. See, that's I only tried to. I women couldn't. do that. They're like, oh, my feelings. But like us, I we, know. Just, we just go like, feelings are dumb. And then, you know. I think you're <laughs> right. I think you're right. I was like, oh, my feelings. <laughs> yeah. I want to actually yeah. know you and want to hang out with you. But when you made out with your exes, it's been like over like a decade. Where Was it exactly the same as it was? Like, did you go, oh, yeah, that's the. That's, how, that's his move. That's the move. Because I. That's his style? Did you remember that it? That is interesting question. Yes and no. I think the memory of it was there, but there was a little bit like, oh, like re, oh. It was like a mashup of both oh. sensations, of, of mentally, emotionally, and then like, oh, this is what it was like. Because <laughs> there's that great David Tell joke. Do you ever wish you could go back and have sex with your exes? And no, do you ever wish good. you could go back... Yeah. And have sex with the first person you had sex with so you could show them how much better you got. Yeah. Like, right? That's the that's, phrase. That's and he goes, yeah. hey, yeah. look who's not crying. <laughs> yeah. So funny. I always think of that joke and that, and you essentially got to kind of experience that yeah, scenario. But I couldn't fully take it there. Hmm. You couldn't get in the T's. Yeah, but that's... And, and that's... I'm wondering if I am just shut down no it's a no, process it's a you're process. going through a process yeah yeah you're going through a process Thanks, buddy yeah am i gonna uh, i won listen after i got <laughs> i'm a divo- wanner i got divorced it was a thing for me too it took a while and you know you did it. You did it. you're not divorced so stupid you're still married 
What I'm you, saying is I can only imagine how hard it must be for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's the thing. You're going to die before me. I am not dying before you. Yeah. No. Look, you're not in great shape already. <laughs> you're half apart. My husband broke the left side of his body a month oh, ago. That's true. So, yeah. But yeah. you're like a bodybuilder. Right. Right? <laughs> you come back, you bounce back quick. I bounce back you're quick. You're like Kevin Hart. You're like, broke my back, big whoop. Yeah, I'm yeah. fine. I'm fine. I can lift a truck. Yeah, I'm but already I, moving. I'm in such better health uh, than you. We both got COVID. My COVID I have was a like broken <laughs> leg and done. I can fucking beat you in a race right now. <gasps> wow. How dare you? You, you run like a TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here's the deal. Yeah. I'm d I'm gonna outlive you because women outlive men. I don't think you're gonna fall into that category. Why? Because I think you're gonna check out way sooner. What? Because <laughs> you, you're gonna kill so me? Rude. No, I just don't see you making it. What are you talking about? I see you maybe getting to like 52 or something. Oh my god, <laughs> that's coming soon. I know. That's why you gotta live every day like it's your last. You know. Sell those panties. I go. now I'm calling back. Yeah. You're disgusting. Yeah, why? Um, There's so many things you could be selling. Yeah, you only live once. Like that would be the first go-to. <laughs> that's exactly that's what they say on the panties. You Let someone once, shit in your mouth. Sniff. You only live once. <laughs> I can't believe you think you're gonna live long, baby. I'm Betty gonna White live. is 90 not just turned 99. That's, that's not amazing. gonna be you, and you know it. I don't want to be in my 90s, but I think I'm going to outlive you definitely. Okay. 80s. Right. I've got cockroach Eastern blocker DNA. Babe, you say it yourself. She's when right. I get sick, I barely get sick. I know, but I don't think that's. You have diarrhea all the time. You got. <laughs> you're all. You, you, you yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got that high blood pressure. I don't have high blood pressure. Mesothelioma. I don't have mesothelioma. <laughs> you have leukemia. I don't. Jesus. I don't have anything. <laughs> I'm perfect. No. No. You have that irregular heartbeat, huh? No, I don't have a regular heartbeat. Yes, you do. Your heart beats once every 50 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> gah, gah. It's, not, it's not an irregular heartbeat. Gah, gah. It's like he's <laughs> practically dead already. There's no way you're going to make it in Why don't 60s. you pitch Mary Lynn on your cool sketch idea you wanted to shoot? I've already pitched her on it. <laughs> what did she say? I pitched her on it a few years. No, we can't say it right now. Oh, top secret. I pitched you on an idea. I can I wanted talk to, to you shoot. about my whole goddamn dating life. I'm gonna nobody pitch knows about it and you can't I'm gonna pitch it to you off camera but I actually did pitch it to you like three I know, years I ago I remember yeah and you were like um okay <laughs> <laughs> That's, I was do I will you, do it I will not refuse but, oh, don't, really? but don't you think it's because the content it, it might... I can't remember what the content is that's a good place to be <laughs> and but you also have to factor in that I don't want to do stuff ever Okay. Like I don't. Oh, yeah, I, don't I see what you mean. I yeah. don't want to do things. Yeah. I'm like, where's the money? Yeah, you're Canadian. <laughs> it's That's... not like I have enough freelance That's... creative jobs. This for is my not own for free. Fun. You're gonna get paid. Fucking Thank real you. money. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I'm in. Would you be open to my husband <laughs> pretending to murder you and then have sex with your dead body? Oh. That's do I get a body idea. double? No. Yeah, but listen, that's not the idea. Okay. No, that's the last idea, and we couldn't cast it, so I had to be the lady in it. Because <laughs> I don't care if I work in show business or not. Look at it. It's the truth. It's true. He f kills me in the sketch, and they have sex with my dead body. I kind of want to see it. It's funny. He he's like, well, he pooped. She pooped. In the it's hummock. It's funny. She did. <laughs> she went through the poop he's in the dead. hummock. It's adorable. it's adorable. Yeah, but I have, listen, I, she was mean, so I kill her. And then the guy that helps me get rid of the body, he, he's like, hey, do you mind if I have sex with her? And I was like, yeah. Where's know. the joke? <laughs> that he, he's, uh, he's good at it. They don't actually show him banging me, but mm -hmm. it's implied. It's more than implied. It, you, it's understood. Yeah. Do you think doing a sketch like that would ruin your career or maybe narrow your prospects of working again? No. At Come this on. point, no. <laughs> I had a lady tweet me the other day. She goes, do you miss acting? <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't stop, bitch. <laughs> I didn't know that I was done. <laughs> you tweeted me that. Thank you. Oh. Thank you for that. Yeah. It's a great tweet. Do you miss acting? God. Miss it. You mean like. I I'm going out for week? pilot season. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Jesus. 
So you recommend getting into the dating pool. That's what we're at right now. Yeah. Yeah. What am I going to do? I, I I do like being alone, but that's that's scary because then it's like, do I like it too much? And then I'll just be alone, you know? Well. I, wa- I would like to have a partner. I'd like to have a life partner. Mm-hmm. Eventually, right? Eventually. You should take a, yeah, you need a breather, Eventually. right? Gosh. Yeah. I know. I went into like a weird COVID. I mean, they were all, you know, outdoor. Do you want to hear about the yeah, second one? Okay. Of course. Oh, yeah. All right. Friend of a friend. Okay. Because I was like, let me get with somebody more in my yeah. genre. This will be easier. How does the setup come? Does, does Not the, the friend, laundromat guy. Does the friend. <laughs> Not a random guy at the laundromat, <laughs> which I also convinced myself I should be open to this. Your friend, does he call you and go, I got someone for you? Or how does it actually come to No, you? I met him. We were doing an outdoor sketch like okay. for a friend and I thought I like his vibe and I've never done this before I said give him my number or I don't know I asked for his number I texted him and then it was real disjointed and he didn't text back which of course I was oh, I was like he ignored me and I was like oh he's into me that must mean he's into me if he ignores me and then I was like I just saw the social dilemma so I thought well I'm trying to stay off my phone too he's a genius he has better things to do <laughs> than be on his phone right gonna be my next husband um he says why don't we go on a picnic it uh, great let's do it great idea i'll stop at the grocery store and get some fancy groceries or fancy salads yeah great i love it hold on is he in front of the camera or behind the camera in showbiz behind the camera okay okay good right it helps in context because whack you know we're wacky those of us that are performers so you give a little more a little more leash, a longer leash to that kind of weird stuff. To be wackier or yeah, more to be or weirder. Less. Like Tom, if I was telling a camera. story. Yeah, like I saw him do stand up very early, and he was just saying vulgar, horrible, horrible stuff. And I was like, ah, but you give him a little leeway because e- okay, I but get go, that. Sorry, go ahead. I, I, I'm, this is this is yeah. what I'm doing. I'm giving him leeway. Okay. Uh, well, ahead. first I like it. I go, oh, yeah. the, the great idea. Yeah. He's going to bring fancy salads. I love it. I get there. Uh, the date's at three. I'm pulling into the parking lot to the park at three on the dot. Texts me at three. Uh, my ETA is 317. I was <gasps> like, the date has already started. So right. you, if you're going to be late, you got to tell somebody. Before. Yeah. Um, I'm looking for him, you know. But, but, but again, I don't take it as a red flag. I'm like, eh, maybe... Yeah, he has a different concept of time. Maybe that's a good thing, you know. Chill out, ML. Chill out. <laughs> so I'm looking for him. I'm hyped. I see him. He's got one, a single cooler, like a over the shoulder little mini cooler. I was like, oh, intriguing. Again, not a red flag, but I was like, it's interesting. What have you got in there? We walk around. We're walking on a very uh, low grade. And he's limping. He's like, oh, I have a torn meniscus. I was like, oh, my God. Well, do, he goes, yeah, I'm in a lot of pain. I've been icing it and heating it. I was like, oh, my gosh. He goes, yeah, I'm waiting. I have a doctor friend who says the technology will be better in 10 years for this. And I was like, <laughs> waiting. So you're just you're going to ignore that? <laughs> you're going to keep walking on that. Okay. For a decade, but you can't time. take like a noted. Don't go up any hills uh, with this guy. So I'm I'm feeling very protective of him. Make sure he's okay. And then we go to sit down. No blanket. It's blasting sun. There's nowhere to sit. <laughs> oh, and then I, in my prep for the date, I was like, I'm gonna. What should I bring? You know, I'm getting right. pumped. And I'm. And then I go, don't bring a blanket. Don't over, like emasculate. Like let him have his mojo. So I'm, don't bring a blanket. But I go, I'm going to add some items to the picnic. So I get, uh, you know, some sriracha chicken wings. I get oh. uh, pan fried. I stop at the Gelson's, you know, I get yeah. a pan fried uh, squash uh, just for a mystery item, you know, wow. like who picks that? And then watermelon. You can't go wrong with some fruit. We get there. We're sitting uh, under a tree on some dirt with the knobby roots. And I'm like, <laughs> OK, I am a fully grown woman, but, you know. <laughs> Hey, it takes me back. We're creative. We're fun. We're artists. I'm pulling out my items and I see he's like, not, it's not really registering with him, like how great my items right. are. He's like, is this lunch? You buy me lunch? He <laughs> opens up his pack. Out comes one Diet Coke, one water. I was like, 
So one of us gets cancer, one of us hydrates. Okay, got it. Uh, <laughs> then pulls out a uh, subway and says the reason why he was late is because there's lines at the grocery store. Now, this is where I'm like a double personality right. because in the moment I'm like, ha, 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 like it's funny. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah there's fucking lines. We're in yeah. a pandemic. <sighs> why do you say this time if you're not going to be here at that time? Yeah. And then... But during, I was like, let, you know, you getting to be through it. I and am. and again, I make it like it, it's this great day and it's this wonderful, like, I don't want him to fucking feel bad. So I got to act like I'm having the time of my life. Like, I maybe the story oh. is I'm an asshole. Then I wake up that night at two in the morning and I was like, like mm. rage train, just remembering not only did he bring Subway sandwich, <laughs> one sandwich. <laughs> All right, I got my lunch. Where's I your lunch? I locked it out. You brought one sandwich. You know he didn't go like, hey, light mayo. Because you know they're back there. <laughs> <laughs> like, think of a lady. You're going to end up at Subway, which, wh who goes to Subway? You don't, that's your it's last disgusting. three, $3 is the reason why you go to Subway. You don't have any other options is why it's you go to Subway. Usually, like, I'll tell you from a man's perspective, usually when you go, oh, I'm going to go on a first date, I'm going to try to get two subs to impress you. Yeah. You know? Um, like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring like an extra thing, oh. like a little chocolate, something to be like, and the hey, chips. I, I You're gonna get you. two bags of yeah. chips. This fucking guy and brings apple slices. One chips, one cookie. Exactly. <gasps> I was like, I'm a queen. You bring me all the chip choices. Yeah. You know, like let's have fun with it. You, right? Maybe have another sandwich choice. There you go. Why yeah. do we have to split one sandwich? So what does this say about your mindset? How did the this is how you're kicking off our life together? I got one <laughs> subway sandwich to share. Like, how did uh, how did the goodbye go on this? Wait, well, like, well, well before we get there, on we... make out. <laughs> what kind of sandwich was it? Was it? A, please don't say tuna. I don't even know. I think it was turkey. I'm guessing. You didn't eat it though. You no, know, I didn't, didn't eat it. it. I ate my things. He ate his things. That and is then so weird. I, he had the time of his life. I acted like I had the time of my life. Okay. I don't know why. So he oh, was having fuck. a great time. Yeah. And so wait, do you say goodbye? Do you guys hug? Yeah. And then any like is he if he had a time he's uh, obviously thinking it went well. Yeah. So is he like, Hey, what are you doing tomorrow? Or Yes. And then do you like go, we're like, gonna see each other very soon, almost immediately. You, and and what, we both know it. How do you handle and it? I went along with it because I'm I'm an asshole. Then later I was like, Hey, I rethought this. I didn't say any of the stuff that I was thinking. Yeah. That's what I think I have issues. You're not Why don't an I asshole. just say in the moment? Because what it's hard I just to say. It's just like not a natural thing for you. It's well, not a natural uh, it, thing. it's so hard because you gotta, it, it, you're so vulnerable with a new person, and you want to make you want it to work. Yeah, you're right. It's like it, it's so harsh. You're right. It's that so hard. You also you, tell right. someone you, you don't, don't want like them to them. feel bad. About, yeah. yeah, you guys, you get it. Yeah. Well, it's not his fault. He's a dope. You know, he's kind All of right. A I'll call him back. Dope. Yeah. No, don't call him. Call back. him and sleep with him tonight. I'll mail him my panties. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Give him a little bit of piss. Easy breezy. Send some urine. What's wrong with you? Wait, did you French him? Did he try to French you? Um, He did. You Frenched yeah. him? Yeah, that pause gave it all away. You kissed him? Well. In the heat? I can't really say. Jesus. What do you mean you can't say? You fucked him? Real quick. In the bathroom at the park. <laughs> at the park. That's what's up, dude. That's so hot. Just to see if I still had it. Yeah, you do. See if I, I could climb back tequila? on the old. Are you drinking tequila? Yeah, I want to try it. Are you going to okay. drive us home? Sure. I don't know why. I just had the urge. Why not? This is when Adav gave it to us. Oh, my gosh. Did my story give you the urge to drink tequila? I'm excited. I don't know why. I just <laughs> thought, you know, I'm ha you know what it is? I'm so this happy to life. see you. And I'm so I feel happy like to see you. This feels like old times. This is like, oh, we could actually hang out and have a drink. It's sad. I miss you. I miss you, too. Anyway, I'm sad to hear about your dates. So I what's going to happen now? Are you going to do it again? I don't see it happening wait did you Again, tell this guy long, long did you time. tell the second guy the picnic guy eventually like I, this not gonna work you yeah did. How, I, how did he respond he must have been floored kind of yeah he was well it was that thing of where you're he's still in the energy of it so he keeps texting like kind of wanting to talk about it so i had to keep like shutting it down i got you and i never came That's out so and said horrible. you fucking brought one sandwich hmm. um the funny thing about <sighs> a guy you. like that is he really just I think there's just because you, you know your friend like when you're a guy 
you have your like oblivious friend where you're like, how do yeah. you, how does this not register? To you? Yes. Right. And then they're like, what? And you're like, how do you not bring something for the other person? And they're like, oh yeah. Like that person, you know, like where you go, what, what's wrong with you? And they're like, I just didn't think. You know, what's so interesting is I want to say this story in my stand up, and the, uh, the, the, the crescendo is like, I'm a queen. Bring me all this stuff. And I'm you good. guys, you don't have to pour me one. I'm good. Some I'll have the tiniest mommiest tiny, uh, mom shot. Thanks. Um, but you guys really went to the heart of it because this is the real stuff that it is hard to tell somebody. And I did want it to work. And of it course. is hard. You don't hard. want to reject somebody to their face. And he's, it's not a bad guy. It's um, it. somebody who. She's coming. She's coming. You yeah, see. I knocked my cord out like three times. Uh, who. It's like dopey. Thank you, my darling. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't know to do better, but for me, where I'm at in my life, and that reflects back to I'm with the backpack. Like you want to like I don't know who I am now because I used to be just like I don't know, I don't, you know I didn't right. I was like social socially awkward. How do I now be? And clearly, I'm not doing well with it. Well, here's the other thing: you can't comp- like you cannot say that the social world you live in right now is even remotely normal or indicative of what it's going to be like. You know, like. This is not. I can smell it. You mean pandemic or? Yeah, like in a in the regular. First of all, the way you're going to meet somebody probably Jeez. is by being out in the world. Hold that thought. This yeah. is incredible. Yeah, oh, it's wow. really good because you smell it and you're like, whoa! But you get all the different things, and then when it goes in your mouth, it's smooth as silk with a well, flavor. I've got uh, COVID. Can't really taste or smell. Mm. I can smell it a little. It tastes great. Yeah. Yeah. Drink the whole bottle. Go on with what you're saying because that's a very uh, so it's good uh. Point. uh <laughs> it's pandemic we, we don't know what it's like uh, yeah what i'm saying is like you go like i'm not i'm not there i'm not ready but you, you you're throwing yourself into like a social like analyzing your social life in a non-social world right now so you got to kind of wait time you know? to date is what he's trying to say but, well, how, true, but, I mean, but how was the rest of the date because here's the thing i could i could forgive the obliviousness because we know boys who just don't think of the other I yeah. can think of one person in particular in our world yeah. who would probably show up and do that exact same thing, yeah. but maybe on everything else is pretty cool. Like, how was the conversation? Did you connect? There was some laughter, but then some of the, yeah, we had a pretty good time. Do you but feel attracted to him or was the sandwich such a deal breaker or like you couldn't get over it? I guess I kind of was attracted in the moment because I was telling myself to be and no. then... But it really, even the types of jokes, I couldn't like hang with it just because I'm in a different place in my life. Gotcha. So I wasn't, uh, I I don't know. No. So the answer is I'm like a mature, I'm like, I am like a fully formed professional, badass, do everything all the time. Yeah. And it's a big deal. Yeah. Like I'm kind of a big deal. Yeah. And I can't, I can't reach, I can't have a child that I need to. Yes. So I that's how this person came can, across. Like they were not grown up enough basically. Yeah. So that was, that's probably it in a nutshell. Like enjoyable in some ways, but ultimately not grown up enough. Gotcha. So there's your answer. There it is. Cheers to that. Cheers, Cheers. to that. Sandwich guy. A subway too, no less. I mean, what are you doing? <sighs> that is bottom of the barrel. That I don't is even, like. I don't even know how that red like what are you doing dude you gotta be so checked out <laughs> you gotta be so and checked hadn't out. that and the little hint of like oh there's lines at the grocery store like have you not gone to the actual store this well, during this whole pandemic and here's the deal too is i know some people listening go whoa well hold on money bags what you're too good for subway and it's not that because you could go to traders joe yes. and for the same amount of money for this piece of shit sandwich you can get like a cheese and charcuterie Thank fucking you. thing. Thank you. Yeah, it does not a money thing because you can you can have a nice spread and at a reasonable cost. Yes. Chick talk will be right the back. Thought. <laughs> Chick talk. I'm gonna also Chick say talk. when I was went to that. <laughs> it's I just got a trader's jaw. Got me a charcuterie plate. <laughs> um, well, let me tell you. Hashtag Chick talk. If you want to weigh in on this. <laughs> 
hashtag check. It's like when you're Listen. watching Big Brother, but first, hashtag but first. Yeah. Like, that's not a hashtag. Hashtag but, but first. first. But first. Put in the but, <laughs> but first. first. But first. I mean, there's a lot of men who listen to this show, and there's guys listening, I guarantee you right now, going, what's the big deal? He brought a fucking sandwich, Yeah, you let's tell what the big imagination, projecting where the r- relationship's going to go. This is the type of guy Nourishment. You're that's really what it is. This, what? is. this is the type of guy you're getting. Yes. That's what you're looking for. Yes, learning. yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. It's not I want to put a judgment, which I am, but it but it's because it's a reflection of your mental yes, emotional. I agree. What about I want to dip back into the Trader Joe's? I when I went to that laundromat at another laundromat in Van Nuys, I really am into laundromats. When I stayed at the Airbnb, I was by a Vallarta, the best chips, salsa, guacamole. Yeah. yeah. Would be a wonderful It's a great thing snack. to bring to a picnic even pirate's booty a bag of pirate's booty Who yeah like that Thank something you. a couple of sodas some something. topo chicos yes come on man jazz tacos. it up you can jazz get tacos it up. in la They're yeah you don't, have to, you don't have to spend a lot of money to show that no. you give a shit yes on a date that's the thing is that guy didn't put any thought into his no date. thought one sandwich one yeah. chip one cookie yeah he didn't think what uh, when we have a picnic, you bring your stuff. I'll bring mine. We'll see if it's a good, a good match. Like it's fucking. It, there yeah. is a basic male. Even if he had that. done that, like even if he had just got his subway, his chip, but he was like, I got you like one, like I they had a flourless chocolate cake. I got like just one thing. A where, nod where you've been like, to oh, thinking about the other yes. person. Yeah, I think. I mean, yeah, because I think of the same person. I know who life. it is. Of course. Well, Can I write like, the name down? Hold yeah, on. I, I, listen, you're right. Yes. <laughs> I already. Yep. <laughs> of course. You're, that's 15 it's years. Like it's bro. your pin number <laughs> at the gas station. Why of are course, you? that's who it is. That's who it is. Who's going to see that guy. over there? This guy. Oh, these people. These oh, people see everything. The thing everywhere. is, is that he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a great guy. He's every a great regard. Guy. In every regard. And then you're like. But he would show you up just with brought some, one sandwich yeah. for everybody? Yeah. He's like, what? You're like, what about us? He's like, uh, okay, like let, great yeah. guy in every regard. Like, what else would he bring to the table? Well, I think he would oh not have done gosh. this. I, I, he's a romantic, total romantic. So this he, is true. Like, it it wouldn't in in this actual scenario, he would never have done that. But he's, you know, he is the type where it's like, I don't know. We all sat down somewhere, <laughs> and they're like, you know, <laughs> the coffee's over there, and and you know, we all went, and then he just come back and sit down with his coffee, and you'd be like, did you think about? bringing other people coffees or something and he'd be like what like he just yeah he's, he's oblivious in that way you know he just doesn't but however is that a male thing is that a, no, the way I, you're raised thing? i mean uh, that was that was my i think with with this pr- individual we're talking about it's that he he is somewhat oblivious just naturally and then he gets like hyper focused on his what he's doing or a little on, his on the thoughts. scale a little bit a little bit yeah yeah Winner, okay. winner, chicken dinner. I think I get that's that. And then you point stuff out and you see it slowly making sense to him. You're like, you know, when you left us hanging, <laughs> it really made us feel like you never. And then we're like, we are thirsty mm. too. Yeah. He'll be, like, <laughs> he'll be like, yeah, I didn't think about that. He'll be like, okay. Is he married? Yes. Oh, what's the wife like? Um, Does she not, pick up the slack and oh, yeah. do all the stuff? And she recognizes that he's a little talked, and then, you know, has made adjustments accordingly. Is he in the creative field? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Comedian. Got type. it. Type. Not a comic, but c- creative type for sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going to happen to me, how it's going to happen. It's going to happen when I'm not thinking about it. 100%. And when it's not pandemic and I'm going to be in some situation because I'm going to keep working and it'll be, I don't know what it'll be. It'll be great. I have a good feeling. I think I think num- second one's going to be the best. One of my neighbors, they're all 75 years old. <laughs> That'll be great. Yeah, it'll be a real cool That's guy. ideal <laughs> and wealthy and then he dies and then you get all the money. Ooh. Oh, make you come. Yeah. It'll be a cool guy. Sorry, what did you say? I said it'll be a cool guy. <laughs> Every time you say it'll be a cool guy, oh, make <laughs> you come. It's underneath <laughs> that. <laughs> It'll be a cool guy. I'll make you. It'll be a cool guy. I'll make it. It'll be a cool guy. What if it is a cool guy that can do that? I I wish for both of them. For yeah. from your lips to God's ears to my <laughs> vagina. <laughs> Let's put a trifecta. It's perfect. <laughs> I said it. God heard it. It's coming to your Thank house. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. 
I won again. Uh, remind people about the yeah, special. Yeah, talk about your special. This is important. Live at the pandemic on Vimeo. You can get the link at MarylandMaryland.com. That's two the words Maryland, Maryland twice. M A R Y L Y N N. I mean, it's on all my socials in the link. It's link in, link in bio. You're on the TikTok. Oh my gosh, I'm enjoying it. Look how great this looks. And you said great. the music is done by Avery Pearson. Okay. You know him. Do I know him? From the comedy him? store. That's right. Yeah. He's fantastic. That's a really good yeah. image. You look great. Thank you. So you shot this live in your garage. <laughs> yes. What a great idea. What a great idea. Oh, yeah, because I was saying that's where we started full circle of like some stuff I knew so well from the club. So I would just pace and then some stuff was like fresh. It's awesome. You know what I mean? This was just me, the washer dryer, the dog. Yeah. I'm going to get it. The cat. Thank you. Of course. For sure. Gotten. Oh, and it also accentuates my weirdness. Which is perfect. Which, you know, the first time I watched it, without the score i was like yeah that's my style of stand-up i like it and then he put the score and i was like whoa like it really takes it to a new because it accentuates the Does way the that score I talk play talk. throughout or come and go it plays throughout i love really? it yeah but comes in and out it's like yeah. a, it's kind of reactive but he's really good at that because he that's what he does that's a cool concept that is cool february yep. 2nd it's available on vimeo yeah for purchase you guys buy it she's a mommy buy it she's... or rent it Buy, buy it, it. Buy go for it. it, go for it, do it, enjoy it. All right, it's so great, Mary. I'm Thank so proud you. of you. I'm so happy for you, and um, you know, it's a it's new beginnings. You're gonna embark on the whole new chapter of your life. I think I'm excited for you. I think you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it. It's Thank you. I'm getting ripped. I got it. I, that is so good. I Woo! got a couple guys for you to take for a spin. You know, <laughs> see wow. see what they're like. I'm ready for it now. <laughs> okay. One yeah. tiny shot. I mean, Woo! that's really good. Yeah, it is really good. Jesus. I'm getting a DUI, baby. I, Woo! I like that you're Woo! slipping out of COVID with, with the oh, that's a yeah. good medicinal. I haven't drank in a month. COVID, finally. you know, 19 virus. <laughs> yeah, it's out there. Oh, I got a DUI, baby. Yep. <laughs> you can get one. I've got one. You got one? No, I never do. Oh. No, you're going to drive home today. I am now. Oh, yeah. Shit, you're fucking ripped in half. <laughs> My driver is here, so it's no worries. Oh, oh perfect. <laughs> My limousine. Your limo. Stretch limo. Um, all right. Jean? Yeah? Want to sign us off? All right. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. We love you. Mary Lynn Rice Cub, so good to see you. I'm so glad you're doing well. And download C rent live at the pandemic <laughs> live in mary lynn's garage you can get that on vimeo starting february 2nd go to mary lynn mary lynn.com that's right i love you gene i love you thank you mary lynn for you. coming thank you i love you guys so fun guys we'll Cheers. see you to your health in a week ta-ta they're retarded <laughs> you're obviously a smart girl you're attracted to me i'm attracted to you you're attracted to me you're obviously a smart girl you're attracted to me i'm attracted to you you're attracted to me Look, man, you're obviously attracted to me. You're a smart girl. Look, man, you're obviously attracted to me. I'm attracted to you. You're attracted to me. We could do six or eight. You're obviously a smart girl. You're attracted to me. We could do six or eight. Look, man, you're obviously attracted to me. We could do six or eight. You're obviously a smart girl. You're attracted to me. We could do six or eight. Look, man, you're obviously attracted to me. We are obviously catches that have actually uh, come together we are two catches that have come together we are two catches that have come together we are obviously two catches that have actually uh, come together we are two catches that have come together we can do six or eight we can do six or eight we are obviously two catches that have actually uh, come together we are two catches that have come together literally the best hidden cap gem in the city Two catches that have come together. We can do six or eight. We can do six or eight. We are two catches.
Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. Please continue to watch more. You can see all these where my hand's gesturing. You can click on those. And please subscribe if you have not yet. And subscribe button, and then we'll get your money. Thanks.